and we're back. Hoorah! Uh, just give me a minute to do the usual. Um, gotta go to my channel. Gotta go to my channel. Gotta. He's gotta go to his channel chat. And... Oh, hey. Hey. How you doing? I've been in voice chat this entire time. Holy shit. Yeah, you literally been in voice chat the entire time. I joined in like <laughs> 10 minutes ago and said hi like twice and you like completely ignored me. <laughs> no, I was um I was doing dishes. <laughs> I was doing the dishes. I forgot I was in voice chat. Yeah, like you been in voice <laughs> That's funny. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> so how are you Sorry. doing, Joey? How are you doing? I'm, I am alright. <laughs> taking care of. I've spent the morning taking care of a bunch of fucking chores. Hey, same here. Except I've been playing Final Fantasy XI for most of it. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna alter my. I got the dishes in the dishwasher. I got clothes in the dryer, and I've got my sheets and blanket in. The wash since it's been like eons since I washed them. I still need to do um, laundry, but yeah, I'm doing the Bass Talk uh, missions, which is like the starting quest. I have to go kill a bunch of um, beast people. Beast people. <laughs> beast people. That's. That's racist. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say something really <laughs> fucked up, but I'm streaming, so. Uh, that is our word. Deleted you VOD. You can't say that. Delete the VOD. <laughs> Delete the VOD. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to say anything funny. So, Nothing funny at all. Uh, he's going to avoid. <laughs> what did I say? The gamer word chat? <laughs> no, that's not even close to what I was going to say. I was just going to say something fucked up. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to not be on a list today. Jacob, you already are on a list. <laughs> <laughs> probably, I'm schizo. So. Uh... Oh yeah, I should probably... Eh, I'll wait. I was gonna say I should probably probably summon my trusts, but they're probably not needed at this current moment because of um, I'm not gonna be fighting anything until I get to the mines. So basically, what you missed is I ran to um, I ran out and did some shit for uh -huh. fast talk. Then I did another mission where I had to aimlessly wander around a place I didn't have a map for until I found a geyser, went up it, and then immediately left that place after getting murdered. Um, because I ran into things that probably were level 80 to 90 as soon as <laughs> I walked forward. And Sid, yeah. Sid, not the Sid from 14, but another Sid, because there's a uh -huh. Sid in every Final Fantasy game. Um, Sid was basically like, hey, I need you to do some shit. And I said, okay, I'll do some shit. And then, um, he had me take this blue thing. And I had to take it to a place where it would turn, um, where it would turn red. So I took it to the place where it would turn red. You wouldn't know it turned red because it doesn't give you a system notification that it turned red. And then I died to a goblin headsman who deal dealt f about god what was it 500 damage to me at once uh -huh. and then uh which was actually a shortcut because i didn't have to walk back through a place i didn't have a map for after that and now i'm going to these mines that they want me to grab uh, i'm not even fucking joking they want me to grab the head of my enemies the arms the torso and the legs just to prove I killed enough of them. Hmm. It's like, that's kind of fucked up, if you think about it, for like, more than a second. It's like, oh yeah, we want you to grab the fucking literal head of our enemy. <laughs> and bring it back to me so I know you did it. It's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
we're we're having a normal one here in Bastok today. Ha having a good old normal one. So yeah, and I I have a list of enemies I need to murder. Yeah, this will this will be a fun series, I think, because I'm actually enjoying myself. And then you'll have to put yourself through at least thirty days of it once you buy the game. Joy. I'm not gonna make you play more than like a couple times, because I know you're gonna hate this. <laughs> but at least you'll have it in case you ever do decide. You know what? I would like to deal with some bullshit today. <laughs> And maybe, maybe with Echoes of Vanadil being added to 14, they'll just tie the subscriptions in together and it'll be better now. But I'm not holding my breath. I really wish Square Enix would just be like, you know, we're going to make this free to play. Yeah. Ooh, look! Enemies! Let's see. Uh, also, I... I fucking, uh... Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to... What were you, what'd you do? I, uh, finally found the Scott Pilgrim takes off trend. It finally appeared in my feed. No, oh, no. Yeah. It's all of, like, all the posts are people, like, desperately trying to convince you how good it is. And it's like, no, it's not. You can say whatever you want. How sad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to murder all of these innocent beast people. <laughs> All y'all gonna die tonight. Because I need your head. Die. Okay! Or we'll do that! Jesus Christ, Valeniriel. Well, I found a couple of treasure chests, but I'm not gonna open them. Jesus Christ. Dude has no chill. So I need to go this way. Valenerol. Valenerol has zero fucking chill. But I need to empty my inventory now since I just got it filled to the fucking brim. Copper vouchers. Alright, we're at the mines. But people, people, are people like, what's the, what's the general take? Like, they're just like, oh, it's, it's such a great reimagining and blah, blah, blah. And like, um, like it, like how it doesn't follow the comics or anything. And it's like, okay, but that's not why people wanted to watch the show. They wanted to watch the show because they thought they were going to get, like, an actual Scott Pilgrim adaptation that wasn't shit. Yeah. We're at the Palboro Mines. Welcome to the rice field, the motherfuckers. I cannot summon avatars here. And then some people are very critical against it. And some people are pretty split. So, pretty much, um, it's it's very divisive. Mm -hmm. He Man Two Electric Boogaloo. Okay, can I murder these younglings? Uh, no, they won't have what I need. Uh, that won't. Oh no, maybe I could just be seeing it through jaded lens because it's got an eighty percent audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. I guess you won't really know till you watch it if it's a good one or not. I suppose. But like, why would you watch it if it's not what you expected? Unless you're just exactly. trying to give it a chance. Which and is even fair then, in itself. But. Even then, like, if you're trying to market it 
as a reimagine a meta reimagining like why do you push scott pilgrim the character since the ip is literally scott pilgrim yeah like if you want to make a ramona flower series just make a ramona flower series exactly like don't, don't... call it scott pilgrim takes off right and have it basically be a joke title Got a shell shield. Jesus Christ, what all did I get out of that? Christ, Valene, you're all. But regardless, I'm not gonna watch that shit. I don't blame you. If it's not what you wanted, then you have no reason to watch it. Exactly. Like, I was hoping we would get, like, a, you know, a nice, nice straight adaptation with. Maybe some more depth and nuance to the characters since they've got, you know, a budget and time to really do that, but nah. Like, really dive into why Scott Pilgrim is kind of a man-child. Uh-huh. Give you a better understanding at, like, yes, yeah, Scott Pilgrim is a bad person, but there's a reason why he's a bad person, and that... He acknowledges he's a bad person, that he's trying to better himself. Yeah. And while he doesn't go about it the right way at the beginning of the series, it's like, it's a series about terrible people. Yes. It's a series about terrible people and, you know, like... Growing up. Growing up. If you just kill off the character without giving them a chance to grow, it kind of just takes out the point. Exactly. Like maybe he maybe he gets somehow resurrected by the end of the series, who knows? Maybe. But like you're taking away a character's chance to grow and if you wanted to reimagine Scott Pilgrim, then you should have reimagined Scott Pilgrim as a whole instead of just saying, "Well, it's a Ramona Flower series now." Right. Well, the other thing is is that something that I don't think people are going to take it account for is that I know it has an 80% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, mm -hmm. but, you know, let's think, like, how many, what audience, how big of an audience does Scott Pilgrim really appeal to? Like, yes, you get all these people on Twitter, like, saying how great it is, but that's Twitter. That's... That's usually not the best way to gauge show, gauge something, because Twitter is always heavily biased towards, you know, shit that subverts expectations. Because yeah. something's popular doesn't mean it's good. Yeah. It subverted my expectations. Uh oh. This enemy is tough. It subverted me, uh, spending my money on it. You wouldn't have spent- Okay, hold up. You wouldn't have spent money on it either way. I mean, you're right. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not exactly fair if you go about it from that angle, because I know you. I absolutely know you. Like, Netflix isn't losing money off of you, they're not gaining money off of you either, which is their actual problem. They don't care what you're you right. think because you're not gonna you're not the audience they're going after. You're but, right, you're right. I don't know. But there's I don't know man. Maybe maybe if I liked it enough, maybe maybe I would be like, you know what? I'll spend eight bucks. I'll spend eight bucks to watch this and cancel it. <laughs> uh, there, they got eight bucks for me. And then they got eight bucks for me and that would, that is that would have been true. That would have been true. They could have, they could have gotten your eight bucks, your eight dollar dues. They, they could have got my eight dollar dues. Well, I don't know how much it is for a month now for Netflix, but it it's used to be eight bucks. It, it used to be eight bucks. It is no longer eight bucks. And that's why it's not fucking worth it. Yeah. yeah not use this. That's the other thing I don't think these streaming services are understanding is that it's a luxury good and. With how bad inflation is, like, you know, people are going to be actively canceling. Yeah. 
Gorilla gloves. It's like... Gorilla glue. Oh, I can use these. Sweet. They give me bonus HP and ex and accuracy. So I'm gonna. Nice. So I how think how goes it? How goes it as Runt Jellfish, the Gelka Master, the Master Gelka Thief? The Master Gelka Thief is actually doing pretty well. Um, the problem with getting the... You remember earlier? You weren't here earlier. So um, earlier I was running into the mine and being like, whoa, why are these enemies one-shotting me? And then I looked up the guide on how to do the quest. You're not supposed uh -huh. to attack the enemies in the mine because they're all level 80. <laughs> But the thing is, you can go... It's a newbie trap. So, like, you keep attacking the enemies because you assume they're going to aggro onto you if you don't fight them. They don't aggro onto right. you in that dungeon. So, you you would actively have to go after them yourself. So, newbie trap, you get filtered by attacking a level 80 creature. You never figure out why. If it were back in 2002, I think I would have gotten filtered by that quest. But, I learned. And I probably would have posted it on the forums being like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get through this dungeon if I can't kill the enemies? Don't attack the enemies, you dumb shit! <laughs> that, that's that's basically what I learned. <laughs> but I'm glad I, I, I'm glad we have the internet as it is so I can fucking look that shit up. Oh, we still haven't found a hat for our poor bald friend. <laughs> our, our poor bald compatriot here forever bald he's molding and balding oh wait yeah I can I can kill extra ones of these I might as well kill extra ones of these because if I kill extra people for fetish heads um, I can sell them on the market and make money from people being like too lazy to do the quest themselves. Oh no, he's casting controls. There we go. I am poisoned. Fuck. Okay, well. Uh, Ripperoonie. Ripperoonie. I am slowly losing health. Please heal me. Wee. Okay. Oh well, I'll, I have potions. Front fish is no longer poisoned. Fantastic. Who doesn't love the brave Rent fish? Clearly these beast people do not. They do not appreciate Rent fish. Die, potato. Not today. Uh, I gained a water crystal. Sort. I have... I'm gonna get rid of this. Drop it. Down, 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 down. Oh, it's not an actual head. It's a it's a spear. Good. I thought I really thought it was gonna be like, oh, you have to bring back the head of your enemies because that's not totally fucked up. No, it's a. It, I'm bringing them back a weapon. Greater Quadov. Okay, I'll fight you. I mean, if if you had to, you could bring back the head of your enemies. That is true. I could. Help. Okay. Wave off uh, bring back the head of his enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Iris, wave off, what are you doing? I am decapitating them. Why? As they said to bring back the head of the enemies. Bring me the head of my enemies. Iris, oh, okay. Cowabunga it is. Cowabunga it is. Kill the beetle. <laughs> I wanted the copper from the beetle. It's a copper beetle. <laughs> Give me your copper! I, I came looking for copper, but I found gold. Well, I need copper ore to level my goldsmith. Earth crystal. Uh, 
Okay, this is a dead end. I'm looking for enemies. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. I really would like a map for this zone um, so I could find my way around easier. I'm supposed to ignore the amethyst ones. Because they don't drop anything. Let me double check that. Oh, hi, hi Chris. He posted a meme somewhere. Brass greater old onyx and veteran. Okay, so they can all drop pieces of this stuff, but not the amethyst ones and not the young ones. But it doesn't matter which one I kill for the amber ones, I can still um, get a different posted part of the meme. sphere. He posted a meme? Where did uh, he post see. the meme? Is it in the uh, group? Is it in the... It's in memes, the DNA of the soul. Oh, okay. So it is in that one. Uh-huh. Dying. Water crystal, god damn it. <laughs> Heads or twenty? Uh, twenty face. That's <laughs> not your face, that's a mask. I would know. Mask Do they sell? The gas to themselves. There's a movie I want to watch for a movie night at some point. Which one? It's called Dark City. Dark City? Is it a horror movie? Yes. Uh, no, it's a sci-fi movie. It's a from sci 1998. Okay. Jeremy Johns did a review on it recently, and mm. I looked into it, and it sounds really interesting. Mm. Um, from 1998, and uh, um, Robert Ebert like fucking loved it. Mm. Roger Ebert. Yeah, Roger, sorry, Roger Ebert. Which is saying a lot. He hates everything, so... Die. Yeah, he's kind of like you. Yes, I do hate him. Except good <laughs> things. I like good things. <laughs> what qualifies as good things? <laughs> Whatever my taste is. <laughs> Final Fantasy XI. It has to be as... Um, interminable is Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> Watching it should feel like a marathon. <laughs> I'm joking to be... I'm joking, honestly. <laughs> no, I just... I'm very particular about movies I like. I have... Oh, I am too. I have really weird like requirements for movies I don't want to feel like I've had my time wasted by something that I could just easily watch um, in any other movie I want to I want to have a unique experience except Godzilla Godzilla is Godzilla gets a free pass I got the quad of fetish arms sweet we're on to the next part so we need fetish torso and fetish legs. Next. So we need to find another amber quadav. See, the problem in this game is you can't just throw money at everything unless you've leveled crafters, and even then, leveling crafters is much harder in this game than it is in um, 14. <laughs> like, significantly harder. But, um, yeah. Let's 
So you can't just throw money at everything unless you get really lucky. Or are highly enough level to just farm certain materials that go for a lot of money. I was trying to buy bullets earlier for um, my bandit gun that uh -huh. I found. And I got unlucky because um, I accidentally bought the wrong thing. Rip. And it set me back so far, I, I legitimately cannot recover right now. Is someone else in this dungeon? I will never, I will never recover from this financially. Yeah. Financially recover from this. I might as well just commit mass genocide in this dungeon and just kill everything I see. Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> That's a good one. Gotta read the... One, I'm, I'm, I'm chuckling again. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh, and everything's about to die. Whee! Yeah, I'll be I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. Copper Beetle died. Die, 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 die. Ooh, critical dogs.
Go, go, go. God damn. He takes a joke too far. Copper beetle, die. Die for me. Ability job. Steal. Congratulations, me. Great work, Pada. Sneak attack. I can't use sneak attack for some more time. Well, that's fine. Silver name tag. Neck all races. Sweet. I got... Where is neck? Silver name tag. Level 7 all jobs. Oh! There we go. Water crystal. But I'll fetch torso. Yes! We are making progress! this either so it's not really useful okay do 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 do, do. Uh oh what was that sounds from deeper within there be only death around these corners Okay, dead end. Oh, 
I am back. Welcome back. We got a torso. Now we're just looking for the legs. Also, I figured it out. It actually is just a fetish. So it's like, um, a little doll thing. Oh, that, okay. That we're collecting the parts of. I just didn't realize it was spelled that way. <laughs> and, uh, we're level 18 now. I just got a silver name tag, which means I got a little bit of, um, I think it's a buff to my elemental resistance of water. Oh, nice. And it's a level five all job, all jobs gear, so. Let me up this, god, I wish I had a jump button. I really wish this game allowed for a jump button. Sorry, that would have be that would have come out like until another like twenty years later. Jump buttons. This game came out in two thousand two. I meant for Final Fantasy in the most. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, a death hurler. What the fuck is that? I want to fight this guy. Uh oh, it's a two way fight. Die. I'm going Die to use my. Sneak attack ability. Then I'm going to use a weapon skill. There, there we go. Oh, he is taking a lot of damage. Steel. I just now got you at the fight. That's a lot of damage. He took off like a quarter of his health. Let me steal. Let me steal. My inventory is full, so I can't steal. God damn, this guy is a uh, <laughs> fighter. Alright, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. Alright. Gonna get rid of this, because I still don't need them yet. So we got the head, the torso, the arms, and now we just need the legs. And I need to get rid of some water crystals. Oh, I JJ to... just put out a new video. So did uh, Second Wind. Second Wind. Oh, yes. When Yahtzee nice. takes a joke too, joke too far. Which makes me very curious what this is about. <laughs> okay. Amber Kwadav. This one, this one, this one. Hi, die. Holy shit. Yahtzee takes a joke too far. I want to watch it, but I don't want to get struck. sneak attack and then everything died uh a pair of slops what on earth is the slops oh it's just shitty leg armor okay i watched the short <laughs> is a, uh what do you take too far nothing it's just it's just like a picture of his face uh, photoshopped onto Napoleon Dynamite during the scene where he tosses the action figure out the bus. <laughs> and then the picture of fucking Nick's face on the action figure. Because whenever he takes makes a joke that goes too far, Nick gets dragged along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny.
Vacon, do you ever play Darkest Dungeon? I have not. I feel like you would legitimately like Darkest Dungeon a lot. Why, because I'm a masochist? Yes. And because it's fun. Fair enough. Read. <laughs> Chris read the veteran Quadav as veteran Quadaddy. <laughs> <laughs> veteran Quadaddy. Chris, is there something you're not telling us? <laughs> is, is there something there, you uh, want to tell us, Chris? Is there something you want to tell us, Chris? <laughs> There's a veteran Quadav, or a veteran Quadaddy. He's behind the rocks! Damn, we can't reach him! Sorry, Chris, we'll never find your dad. Oh wait, that's a really bad joke, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I made that joke, Chris. Too late, it's too late. Chris is high. Yes, his dad is dead. <laughs> I knew that too, which is why I really shouldn't have make that made that joke. When Jacob takes the joke too far and I get checked <laughs> along for the ride. I brought this on myself. I know I did. <laughs> uh Yeah. The shame, shame, shame. The only way to equal it out is <laughs> if I say your mom to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a story. We're all horrible. I'm not gonna bring it up. <laughs> We're all horrible people. Yeah. Let's a go. Let's a go. Ooh, I've not run into these yet. Cave Wungars. These are much uglier than they are in 15 or in 14. Uh oh. <laughs> Holy Christ. I haven't seen them yet. There they are. Oh, a little mushroom people. Yeah, I took a lot of damage there, actually. I keep missing. Okay, Just I got healed. don't miss. Just don't get hit. Just get good, j -Con. Just get good. Tuna-chan, one. Who in the Christ is Tuna-chan? Chris, that was really nice of you to say. He actually <laughs> talked to my mom a couple times while um, she was still alive. Mm. Alright, have you seen the Fungars yet? Yes, I saw them. The little mushroom thingies. These guys are ugly. I'm gonna use sneak attack and then attack them. Time to die! I'm finding dark crystals. What is this, my fabula ultima game? <laughs> I'm gonna use a potion now. <laughs> Sleep shroom. An edible mushroom. There are many of there are many types of edible mushrooms, and some that you really should not eat. Some you can only eat once. 
Some you can only ever eat once and then never again. Oh my god. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, Dad. Oh. I don't want to sleep through. I have my inventory is full. This is not a pun. I saw a fun guy. <laughs> That's what they're actually called in um Disgaea. They're called fungi. Mm. Look at the young quadaddies and the amethyst quadaddy. Final Fantasy XI will never be the same. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I am very lost. Oh, look, some veteran quadaddies. Time to die, motherfucker! Uh oh. It's two on four. And I use sneak attack yet? No. I'm. Ooh, I I got the legs. Okay, we can leave now. He's just trying to hit us. All right, we can leave now. Now high me is gonna be upset with high me. Why? Uh, status. I am about 700 XP away from 700 XP away from level 19, I think. And I need to get out of here. Top deal. I have been banished. I have been banished. The quad daddy thing. <laughs> if high, if not high, you is upset at yourself for that, then that's. You're high, not high, you just ain't with the times. I'm just gonna let this guy kill me. Because I'm not fighting my way out of here. <laughs> kill me! Kill me! Come on, kill me! <laughs> Do it now! Do it now! Do it now! Kill me! <laughs> Kill me right now. Remember kids, dying is gay. But being <laughs> gay is okay. <laughs> Especially if being gay gets you a shortcut in life. Remember that. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> this is also really well training my evasion, actually. <laughs> my evasion is being trained. Everybody's just standing around like, is he gonna, is he just gonna let him, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Dying tickles. If 
you stab me right here, I'll die. Stab solid armor. Did you get held back in kindergarten or something? <laughs> or something? <laughs> Look at how mad it's getting. <laughs> Gil rises by point. <laughs> So glad that the level the level reduction doesn't start to level 30 now. You can get leveled down in this game. It's such a dumb feature. I mean, it makes sense. It was a um, considered like a hardcore MMO. That was that was a thing back then. You could just die in MMOs and get your entire level lost or several. And then you wouldn't. Yeah, I know it's still dumb. Gear you bought. It's still dumb as hell. It it it, it kind of is. We cannot undertake two missions at one time. Wait, did I not get all the stuff? Oh, I got all the stuff. Who do I return it to? Who do I bring it to? For missions. Nations. Hunt the Kudav. Okay, well, where do I take it? Talk to Gumba and... Uh, uh... Oh, I have to trade the items to him, right. God, this is probably the worst mechanic of the entire game. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, it's yours now. You brought all four parts of the ball. I'm raising your rank to rank two for completing this mission. Hell yeah! Need to collect rank points. Rank two. Now I just trade all the crystals I've been collecting for God knows how long. Hey, yeah, this kind of, it kind of sucks that we're, like, uh, s stealing stuff from these people and making them lose their lands. But you know what? It's none of our fucking concern. <laughs> I'm going to trade all of these crystals to this guy. Dark crystal. Okay. Here's your fucking crystals. Wait, did it not happen? God damn it. I have to go back down to the actual guards. Okay. Obtained 1,000 gil missions are... Uh, travel to another home point. Select from favorites. Go to the best documents. Yes, please. And then I'm going to trade in all my crystals and hopefully get to rank... T like, to the next rank. If not, then I'll grind crystals for a while. It's fine. Dun, dun. Okay. Here I am. Rock me like a hurricane. Okay. So I just need to go to this rabid wolf guy. And then trade him some shit. So, you can have those. You can have these. Uh, you can have these, because I've been collecting them. You can have some dark crystal. And then, yeah. We 
You've added the access to your conquest points. You do not need to donate any more crystals. Okay. Cool. So I donated as many as I need to get the next mission. Favorites. <clears throat> yes, please. Cool. I filled out my entire rank point. Ah, spider! It's dead. Okay. Um, time for medicine. <laughs> Take your meds, bitch. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Okay. Um. Let me talk to Malduck real quick, and then I'm gonna take my meds, which hopefully YouTube will not get angry at me for taking them on stream. You're not gonna get angry for taking them on stream. Wait, why are you taking your meds? Because I saw a spider. Where? In my house. Oh. It was crawling on my walls and looking at me. Yeah, take your meds. Yeah. Give me, give me just a second. Gaslighting? Gaslighting isn't real. You're just crazy. Now take your medicine. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, uh, check my mission real quick. Crystal line. Find a section of the strange structure on Concha at Highlands that drains the energy from crystals. Bring back a faded crystal to Chief Engineer Sid for analysis. Okay, I will look up on the wiki how to do that real quick, but um, I'm going to take my meds. And I have to text Krista that I'm going nuclear, so. For anyone not in the know, I'm crazy. Um, and spiders are a you're, big thing that I'm terrified of. You're nuclear. You're wild. You're breaking up. Inside. Okay, 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 okay. And now I feel them crawling on me. This has gone from. They're biting me, too. This has gone from 0 to 100 way faster than I expected it to. Uh, that's the best, damn. Okay. Oh. What's up, Tion? Hey, Tion. It's I. Tion. Give me a moment to take my fucking meds. Take your, take your pills. I had to kill a spider, so I'm losing my shit right now. Happy pills. Oh. And I'm itchy. Very, 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 very itchy. How long have you been streaming? Um, an hour? It's only been an hour? It doesn't feel like it's, it feels like it's been Well, I, I took a break. Oh, okay. I took a break, and it was a good break. It was a good break. I got to eat a burger. That was good enough for me. Burger. Let me drink some water after this. I've not been drinking enough water today. Yes, Chris, normal pills. That was the joke from the Dream Music video. Take your normal pills. This is the point of the mask is. It's the point of the mask! It's the point of the mask! No, guys, you don't get it. They thought Dream needed glasses. The music video was so fucking stupid. I don't know what he was thinking. Honestly, the worst part is the lyrics. The lyrics are so fucking bad. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Talking Joey, about Joey, okay, hold on. It's show and tell time. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's... You're gonna show me a music video? Spare me. No, 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 no. Dream. The mass. You have to- No, you have to watch this, Tion. It's- It's fucking fantastic. I really don't fucking know. Yes, you do. You need to watch this. Why did right, I stab myself in the nut? Then stab yourself in the nuts, but I'm posting it in memes. You have to watch, watch this video. Like, we're you, not gonna we're not yeah. gonna watch it on stream because I might get in trouble. But um, I'm already gonna be in hot water with the dream stands. But uh, watch oh, that music who cares? video I posted. So what are they gonna do? Oh no, a bunch of twelve year olds are going to attack you! Oh my god. <laughs> About to say, what are the so dream stands gonna do? I'm so terrified. Ah! I'm I'm so scared, guys. So scared. They're gonna cry to their mamas about my mom is their Minecraft. My parents are dead. My parents are dead. I'm not even joking. My mom's dead. So haha. They can't get uh, to my mom. I don't know. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> if it makes you feel that any better. That escalated real fast. If it makes you feel any better. I don't know my father. That's okay. We'll so, be your father. So, you know. No. <laughs> we'll be your dad, too. I'll be your schizo dad who has red 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 wires all around listen. the apartment going from listen. note board to note board. Listen, listen, listen. I'll take mm -hmm. this the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'm white. listening. I'm You're listening. White. You're white and I'm black and nobody's gonna buy that. You're his adopted son. You're my adopted son. No, he's our adopted son. Like he's all of us, everybody son. in the entire server is adopting him now. What? You're all adopted. Congratulations, Tion. Yes. You're now officially our our, our son. <laughs> I I don't want to ask my parents. Too bad. Now, son, when you shoot a gun. <laughs> okay, stopping the right stop. there. Okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> Now, son, when you shoot a gun, make sure you point it in the direction you want to shoot, and don't shoot yourself. That is good make advice. Sure that is genuinely good advice. And never walk into a school to do the shooting. Oh gun. my God! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jesus. we're in America. Uh, kind of <laughs> All right, go ahead and walk into a school. <laughs> No, Tion, you don't get it. The only people who are allowed to have guns in school are the police. Nine times out of ten, it's been a fool. Some might say, that's fucked up. And I would say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now, now guys, we enter the fun part of the stream where I slowly start to have all of my mental faculties shut down until I can't actually stream anymore and I'm stuck in my chair and fall asleep. So let's do that part. Let's do that now. You guys went oddly quiet yeah! after I said that. <laughs> I have, like, no response to that. Uh... <laughs> no one read this. I'm looking at PS2 games. I'm trying to decide what I want to... Dude, I fucking wish I had a PS2 still. I, yeah, I still have a PS2. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You know what you should play? You should get the HDD plus, um... You should get the HDD plus the, um... Uh, router connector, and you should play vanilla um, Final Fantasy XI. No, I don't why would myself. he? <laughs> <laughs> I took the words out of my mouth. Uh, you could play Horizon Eleven, which is the classic vanilla. Is it rare to not have a PS2? I don't have a PS2 because mine broke. I haven't plugged in my PS2. I've mostly been streaming off an emulator because I don't have a capture card. If I do, I would probably be streaming to my, uh, I would probably mine more uh, PS2 games.
But, um, play Star Ocean until the end of time. You have a PS4, nah. right? Star Ocean yeah. is good! What the fuck is that gnaw for? It's good! Because I got- Because I got too many JRPGs to play right now! What the fuck? I've got Persona- I gotta be Persona 4? Persona 5 Royal? And then I also- <laughs> Hold up, if you, have a PS, if you have a PS4, seven, there'll be eight. a Black Friday sale coming up where you should get .hack GU uh, Lost Recode, which is a really good series. Wow, that's super interesting. I wish I had the money for it right now. It's it's act it's an action RPG. Yeah, but like, does action RPGs have money to give me? No, to be fair. Yeah. To be fair, uh, um, I've that's... streamed GU before, and um, unfortunately, half the time I spend in every single JRPG I've ever played, I am like level grinding. I mean, I Until I hit max too. level. I don't do that. I do that. Because I, I have a he problem. He does that. Look at the types of games I play. You think I don't like grinding? Listen, it, all I know is, is that even for... Uh, I stopped doing that once I started playing Cyberpunk. Grinding in that game takes me fucking ever. I mean, I know, but I still do it. I, play I wanted all my Digimon and Cyber Sleuth champion level before I even fucking finished after the first level. I mean, that's not hard to do. I it's know, but like... like uh, 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 once you reach perfect, right, that's when it starts getting annoying. I mean, I get it, but... Dot .hack game. Yes, Dot .hack is really good. And uh, Joey and yeah. I, for a bit, were playing um, Fragment, but Joey doesn't like Fragment. Because it's very janky. It's janky and kind of boring. Which is why I like it. But I'm into the jank. You know what time it is, Joey? It's jank o'clock. Jank o'clock. What time oh, is it, gonna... Sivvy? Jank o'clock. Jank o'clock. I was going to say adventure time. But... Oh, no, 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 no. Another game you should play, Tion, is Front Mission 5. I was just looking at the front mission games. The What's front mission games are amazing. Some of the best the JRPG first? Square Enix has ever published. That's some big talk coming. Uh, is the Kingdom Hearts good? Uh, that's, are we talking vanilla Kingdom Hearts or are we talking Final Mix? Final Mix. Listen, the only version that people are going to play when they start Kingdom Hearts nowadays are the Final Mix. Let's get real. I found the original Kingdom Hearts slightly annoying, but I did play it all the way through. I'm playing the PS2 version. I'm glad I'm playing You told me you didn't play it all the way through. I played it most of the way through. I just got stuck you... on... I got I got stuck... Uh, I was with Beast after Riku. After Riku took my friends away. And I couldn't figure out where to go. Damn, Jacob, dick. we gotta get you. We gotta get you to play all of, all the way through Kingdom Hearts. But I don't want to play Lucas. Kingdom Hearts One. I just like Kingdom Hearts Two. I like the way Kingdom Hearts Two feels better. Yeah, it does. My one issue well, with you is, should... is that uh, compared to One, there's not much reason to explore. Yeah. At least in Vanilla Two, I and mean, I think in Final Mix they try to fix that. I like the Tron level in uh, Two a lot. Yeah. Three, they know. definitely try to fix the exploration stuff and um, the pain in the ass. I got 100%. Oh, and I was at the world that never was in um, Kingdom Hearts 2. That's where I left off in there. I couldn't beat um, you. I couldn't beat the card guy. Looks like he's easy as shit. <laughs> I was like 13. I was nine when I first beat K H two. Well, nice for you. I didn't. Maybe you just suck at video games. I do not suck at video games. Fuck you. I don't want to hear it from you, Tion. You are terrible at video games. I am okay at video games. I just prefer turn-based combat. I've seen your streams. I've seen your streams, Tion. Ooh, we're getting called out here. I would blame- I'm gonna say this. Streamer recording curse. Recording curse. 
But no, you're <laughs> supposed to get streamer luck. Excuses. I don't fucking Excuses. get that. You don't get streamer luck? No. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, my I don't get streamer luck I either. I don't get streamer luck either. On my test flicker, I could be kicking this boss's ass, and then when I actually play the game on stream, it's like, ah, ah, ah. At least I'm doing good on Mass Effect. <laughs> I've only died in that. Uh, I've only died like, I believe like what? <laughs> I will say one thing. Um, yeah. if you ever played GU Last Recode. Don't try to get to level 60 on the Twin Blades. You want the sword, because the endgame dungeons are designed around you having options to go with sword and Twin Blades. Um, half, the, half the mobs, the trash mobs, are designed around breaking shields. But, if it tells you about the crazy amount I've played that game, I got to level 60 on Twin Blades. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can you speak English and not Spanish for a sec? I'm not speaking Spanish. So you want me to like speak? It. You want me to speak not gamer language? No, just the language I understand. Oh wait, what's Devil Summoner? I've never heard of Devil that. Summoner. Is awesome. Oh, it's the dude that you can fight. Raido Kuzunoha. SMT. Yeah. Okay. There's two. Been, there's two um, Devil Summoner games. Yet. There's two Devil Summoner Rido games, and I wish they would make another one or remaster the first two into one. Those package. games. Those games are dope as fuck. They should remaster. They should at least remaster the first two games. Yeah. There is a. There's a, there was a fan theory for a while that Naoto was, Rido's descendant. That would be cool. I will. Okay. But shouldn't she be more powerful considering he's an SMT protagonist? Not necessarily. I mean, if you had Devil uh, Summoner mechanics in Persona, or just at least more versions of, like, um, I would, I would like if would... Persona was kind of a best of menagerie for, um, abilities instead of just yeah. the Personas. Like, you would have Devil Summoner mechanics for Naoto, you would have, um, Nocturne mechanics for some for, NCs. I'm just waiting for a hack and slash version of Persona, and they haven't done. I guess the closest you can take Persona. They're making one, aren't they? Uh, they made Strikers. No. Okay. Yeah. I guess Strikers counts as a hack and slash. I haven't played it yet. Strikers is a hack and slash. But mm -hmm. um, they're making the Persona Five Tactics, which, other than it being a tactics game, I have no interest in. I'm actually super interested in it because I love those kind of games. Like, I'm going about this many games. I just want Final Fantasy Tactics on Switch. I have a PSP, so I don't really need it. But oh, you'll never get it. I really want. I, I want Tactics Advanced on Switch. I will say that much. What's, what the hell is Zodiac Job System? Zodiac Job System? Are you talking about uh, yes. 12? Sir. Sure. Um, so for 12, yeah. there was a Zodiac job system added in the Japanese mm -hmm. version that didn't make it to the English version until the, um, uh, remake on PC. I would play the remake on PC instead of base 12. I might get much all for it. 12 is really good. I, I hated it when I was younger, but I kind of grew, grew, it grew on me. One of the Final Fantasy games I'm having trouble trying to sit down and play through is 8. Eight can be difficult. I really wish they would I don't, fix some of I it. I don't understand the junction system. I just don't. Junction's like, easy. I, I studied... it's, it's the most broken thing you can do. <laughs> I studied that crap, and I still don't get it. I Play don't more triple triad. It. Play more triple triad. The hell is triple triad? The card game in eight. Oh. oh. You oh, need to I play the card game to get the best cards for the best junctions. Game. I ha I'm not even joking. It's the best way to get the proper junctions. It really is the best way. I fucking hate card games. Fucking card games on motorcycles. Card games on motorcycle. Hey, you I like say. Playing, I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh games. Let's go play 
Card games on, on solid, solid ground. <laughs> I forgot where I'm. What I'm looking for. I need to check the wiki real quick. I'm lost. Going fast <laughs> makes me feel alive. My heart beats and hyperdrive. Do you think you can win? And only if I lose, just let destiny shoot. That lyric was always so dumb to me. No, 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 no. 5Ds was based. 5Ds is based. I'm just talking about that specific lyric from Hyperdrive. Oh, you I was think to talk you to can Sid win I only know. if I lose, just let destiny choose. What does that mean? Of course you, of course your opponent wins if you lose. He just cracked a lock back to I can't oh, see gosh. you coming. I can't see him. So I have to go all the all way back way. to. Around. I forgot to talk to an NPC before I came here. And now I have to walk all the way you? back. Did you really? Yeah. Maybe you should go back and punch him in the face. I might. <laughs> Sid, you got it coming now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kill them. I have to kill Sid. <laughs> Because they, they just were like, oh, go get a crystal and go do it. Instead of saying, talk to Sid and then go do it. Should I try Rune Factory? Rune Factory is amazing. Are you, I did Rune isn't Factory like, streams. Isn't it like Harvest Moon? It's like Harvest Moon with monster killing. And training. Uh, I'm not going to lie, for, my, for Christmas, I asked my grandma for Rune Factory 3 special. And you can marry people. That's you can marry people, it is indeed. But, um, Joey, uh, I'm not going to get into it again. Every single time what? I get into this topic, what? people yell at me. What? What? What was it? What I is, don't what is like it? dating about... NPCs! Yeah. That, oh, yeah, that, that's right. That, yeah. Every yeah, time I bring it up, more people get mad at me. I don't that's get so mad at you, here. I just question why. No, 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 let's just leave Jacob alone along with his wrong opinions. <laughs> <coughs> Don't die. I'm dying. No, I ha I've had a cold all week, so is Carissa. It's definitely not COVID because I I've experienced COVID now. That is, this is nowhere near as bad as that. Uh, we oh, don't need another person with COVID in this group. What? Uh, our buddy laser got. COVID oh yeah, Lucas has COVID now. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. For the third time, like, god damn. It took me legitimately three years to get COVID for the first time. If that tells you how much uh, of a shut in I am. I, this is the um. I, I I've been going out to work for like three years too, and then like, I only got COVID once. <laughs> it all depends. Like everyone's immune system is pretty different. Mine should be shot to hell, given how much I abuse it. Ser okay, before here. before I walk on, look at this fucking thing, Joey. Uh, hang on, I'm waiting for it to come on screen. What the fuck is that? I, I don't know. I have a mission for it, but it won't let me interact with it. I need to look better it up. Consult, better consult the wiki. I better consult the wiki, but I'm gonna... I have to run back to Sid now, so I'm gonna consult the wiki later. I should have consulted the wiki before I left. I need, I need that ring of return. Or the scroll of return. Because that would make everything a lot easier. Because the maps in this game are fucking massive. Hey, did you guys like Final Fantasy thirteen? Yes. I never played it. I've only played Lightning's Return, and I didn't finish it. Uh, Lightning's Return is probably not the best one out of them all. I... Okay, here we go. Hot takes! My... Literal magma My... takes. I liked Final Fantasy thirteen. I I've only played a bit of two at somebody else's house. Thirteen two. Yeah. Um, 13-2 was interesting. I didn't play it all the way through just because I wasn't interested at the time. I was interested in other JRPGs. 
Um, but I will go on record right now, carve it on my fucking grave. I liked 13. I think lightning's pretty cool. She's like Cloud, but a woman. She is more emo she is more emotionally complicated than Cloud. I can tell. And most of the most of the reasons she's angry throughout the entire game are totally justified. Mm. Yeah, just don't spoil it for me because I'm <clears> not playing. Wait, those what? I'm not telling you. Most of the times Lightning is angry at certain characters during the game is completely and totally justified, and people overreacted. Hmm. Because it's like, why woman. is she such a bitch? There are some There's reasons. Like how far are you in the game? Have you seen the the Sarah thing? No, With... I haven't started it yet. You haven't, haven't started, started it yet. yet? Okay, never mind. You'll no. find out. You'll find out. And I'm I'm curious to see when you do play what your opinion is because I feel like a lot of the things that Lightning went through are completely justified for her to be angry about. One of the one of my first exposures to Lightning was apparent was a leak for KH3, uh, a leak in quotation marks about her being in KH uh, for. She was holding cool, a circle she? back. No, she wasn't. That was cool. I also saw some fan art of her training Sora. Cool. The director for um, Final Fantasy 13 was the first director for Final Fantasy 14, but that did not go well. And then they hired Yoshi P. Yeah. Yoshi P seems like a cool dude. Yoshi P is awesome. He is uh, unfathomably based. If I had five minutes to talk I... to him, one on one, I would ask him I to bring pay. back the oh, Astro. Wow card system from Stormblood in Heaven's Word. I'm so sick of uh, having my... I... I would like to ask him to make a KH MMO. Kingdom Hearts MMO? Why? Of... No, uh, you'd have to go back in time like to the, the Keyblade mobile... Wars. That's what I'm talking about. Just make a remake of like the mobile game we got. You need to so, if I make that shit a single player game that we could play, because yeah. I, don't even think, I don't even think we could watch the cutscenes like you can for Dark Road. Yeah. But like, a Keyblade I'll War in the like distant past Keyblade War would be kind of fucking cool to experience. Yeah, yeah. Because like, they Road, teased, uh, the, they teased um, that for Kingdom Hearts 3, and then it was like, not happening. Uh, at least you can. At least everyone, you, you know, usually has a font you can get for these games. Yeah. Yeah, but Union Cross is just fucking gone. That's an important story part for Kingdom Hearts. Oh, it's the same thing gone. is happening to uh, Urar Hunt for uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. Really? Yeah, Urar Hunt is being shut down, but they're making an anime for it, so that's better than what they did for Union Cross. Seriously, Union Cross should have been a single player game. You should, you should have been able to buy, and Mission Link is probably going to be more of the same shit. Um, I don't know. I think, I think Square Enix needs to lighten up on Tetsuya Nomura and just let him, let him cook. Let him cook. Maybe what? Give him a break. Maybe give him a break, cause like the you... probably being overworked. It's not only just he focusing on Kingdom Hearts, but did you know he didn't even know he was directing the Final Fantasy remake until the game was announced? <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. And then he was kicked off of Versus. I remember he- I know he's pissed off about that, because it's all the references to it in KH3. Yeah, the entire character of that one guy in the DLC is Noctis from th Versus 13. It was his baby. Uh, adding on to this. And... Also, also, I find it weird. He's voiced by Twin Strauss. Huh? One of the twins from the suite. He's voiced by one of the twins from the suite, like of Zack and Cody. That's funny. <clears throat> Doing a really convincing anime boy, anime edgy anime boy voice. Oh no, I I think Tetsuya Nomura is the most bullied uh, creator in all of Square Enix's devs. He. He, he, he really doesn't deserve that. I, I mean, I, geez, I, I get it. Right? Like, no blame <coughs> shit that there's no way he can control. Like, Stranger Paradise. People are blaming him for that shit, huh? For that. How is he at fault for Stranger of Paradise? 
He's not. Uh, uh, the game's good, but like when it, when it was well based off the demo I played. Like, I've but, like, heard great things about like it. I've heard great things yeah. about it. Yeah, but when the game before the game was coming out, they they they, they were blaming him for like the dialogue and shit, but he's not the director. Dude, the dialogue goes hard. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you are. Like they cut. Like, yeah, constantly, the, the, the main character doesn't give a fuck about the villains and what they have to say. He's just like, are we gonna fight or what? Yeah, it's exactly. Refreshing. It's fucking Mora. amazing. Nomura's, um was only the one of the producers out of three producers and an artist. That's it. But that's like, the dialogue goes hard. And just the main I character constantly being well, like, but... fuck you. I'm gonna kick your ass, and you can shut up now. That was awesome. Yeah, uh, once I once I've been through my list of games, I'm definitely gonna uh, purchase it while it's on sale. Let's go put on my list of Steam. Joey said he's gonna try Final Fantasy XI. When it's on sale. When it's on sale. That you're gonna have to fucking walk me through getting that shit set up. Yeah, it's annoying. I also need to play the remake Integrated. I want to play Integrated, but that, I'm not really looking forward to how much they change the story. But I'm not going to do that until I beat the original Final Fantasy again, as well as the other OG games where I played the rest of them. Francis Core, never played Jones of Cerberus, all that jazz. I really want to go through all of Final Fantasy IV at some point. I've been meaning to Jacob, do it for you a know. No, we should I do. Go I was just thinking friends. about this. What? We should, we should, the both of us should stream playing Final Fan, all the Final Fantasy games. That'd be fun. I was gonna do that. I think that'd yeah, be that. a lot of fun. Just do a marathon of it. Exactly. Was, I'm better at the MMOs than I am that. the base games. Uh, if you play Final Fantasy VII, there is a voice acting mod for it, but I'm using. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I saw that every mod. Single I, character. It's really, it's it's really good, Jacob. It's like really fucking yeah. good. It's very well done. He dubbed every single character in the game. Nice, including Especially Jesse. With... Huh? Including Jesse. Yeah. yeah. All of the characters. When I say all the characters, I mean even background NPCs. Nice. Yeah, and like when you pair that with like the HD mod, like to give them all like their like HD models, it's it's pretty it's a pretty cool. Experience. It's like. Yeah, it's, it's like a turn-based uh, Final Fantasy VII remake. Mm. It's like what the Final Fantasy VII remake people thought we were going to get was is going to be. I'm okay with the turn-based one. I was just expecting a more Kingdom Hearts-like thing where it's free-flowing and you're just dancing all over the place and shit. I have a hot take. Uh, I'm going to be real. Uh... It doesn't fit Cloud to be moving as zipping around the battlefield like Sora, because you can tell from Sora that he's like self taught and shit, and that he's like having a lot of fun with his own move. No, it doesn't fit Cloud. I have a hot but take. It still would have been fun. Like a supernova take. What is a su what is your supernova take? I would have far preferred a turn based boy. Final Fantasy VII remake. You're, that's not a hot take. I don't think it's a hot take. I legitimately yeah. think that's what a lot of people were thinking. I, I wouldn't have minded, you know? I would kind of prefer it. Oh, if there's a Final Fantasy game, I'm excited to get to... Oh, go ahead, Joe. Sorry, Joe. Give me now. Oh, I was going to say, I don't think... I don't think for what it is, I don't think the Final Fantasy VII Remake is bad in concept, and I think it's still fun to play. Oh, that's not, uh, that wasn't my fun. point at all. It's a good game, and Nomura's having a lot of fun, like, experimenting with his original baby. But, like, just knowing what kind of games I like, I would have preferred a turn-based one. No, and I, I get that's what you were saying. I didn't say, like, you were saying it was bad. Like, that's yeah. not what I was saying. Okay, cool. I was saying, you know, for what it is, it's still a lot of fun. And, yeah. like, I think a lot of, I think a lot of people are shitting on it for, like, petty reasons. Mm -hmm. I think that for what it like is, Nomura. it's yeah, yeah. I think a lot of it's because they don't like Nomura, um, which, which from a certain angle, I can I can understand. I can understand. Nomura does have a tendency to piss people off. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think to deserve that? 
Uh, existing pretty much. Existing pretty much. I would <laughs> say. That shit. I would personally say I think a lot of the reason why people have such a negative <clears throat> viewpoint of Nomura is just because of how he handled the writing in Kingdom Hearts. And how he generally Honestly, handled versus 13 I, in Kingdom Hearts. I'm, 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 okay, here's my thing with Kingdom Hearts writing, right? If, if it was for three, and the whole Luxu review, reveal, right? I would have uh -huh. been convinced that Namor was writing by, writing the entire story by the seat of his pants. But the Luxu, but the reveal with Luxu, with, you know, Zigbar being Luxu, explains a lot of shit. I think so. I, I, I'm halfway convinced that at some point Namor sat down and just planned everything out, and I can't tell. And I, 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 I it's, it's definitely not at the first. Thing. This ha I a lot think... of the first game has nothing to do with the later games. I, I'm thinking maybe like around Birth by Sleep, mm -hmm. right? I, Which is still I think... early into the series' life I think the major problem is that because I actually watched a video recently. Um, where somebody actually went over, like, is Kingdom Hearts story, like, really that confusing? And, it's, like, I, it was I a bit of... It was a bit of... It was an analysis video, and it was really good, because it showed that, no, it's really not as confusing as you think it is. Mm. But the issue, and this mm -hmm. is what I was talking about with Jacob last night, actually. The problem is that it took, like, almost 20 years to tell the story over over um, several different consoles. Yeah, that's um, the main issue with KKH. The reason why it was so confusing is because all these games that are not spin-offs, I don't like when people call these KKH games spin-offs, no. Spin-offs don't have relevancy to the main plot, right? Uh-huh. They're just I mean, they not can. Numbers. I mean, they can. Like, in yeah, retrospect, they the can. Major, but not to the same major impact as, like, playing... Uh, all right. So let me put it in this way. Would you say that, um, what's a good example for this? Like, a, a spinoff? Do, like... do you think playing Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, do you think Persona playing, um, Persona, uh, the Persona fighting games, like the Persona 2 games are important to getting the story of Persona, Persona 3 or Persona 4? If the answer is no, then they're not on the same level as like Birth by Sleep, where you need to play that game, you know, to understand shit in Kingdom Hearts, like how Riku got a Keyblade, or how Sora got yeah. or, or you know, or why Sora ended up with a Keyblade. Well, but, but the, but, and I get what you're trying to say, Tion, but like, their spinoffs, like, a game could be a spin-off, but still, like, have a lot of plot revel uh, revelance. I and, like, birth, with that. birth I by just sleep. Feel like it's just ki I, don't, I just feel like calling the Kingdom Hearts games that aren't numbers spin-off is an inaccurate way to describe them. I can see that. I can see that. They're too important to be called spin-offs, you know? Yeah. Even... But, um... Even, um even the rhythm game is important to the damn plot. Now that, I'm not know. even gonna get into. I don't, yeah, I, I'm not gonna get into that. I barely know anything I, about the rhythm game other than that you play as Kyrie, and that's about it. I haven't even played it yet, because I'm, I'm not a big fan of rhythm games. I'm probably gonna do it I've heard, stream, but after that, I will never touch it again. I've heard it's good, but I, I have, like, zero interest in it. But yeah, um, the problem is, is that, and keep in mind that the original Kingdom Hearts, because like, as I was talking with Jacob, right? So the original Kingdom Hearts came out in 2002. And then Chain of Memories came out on the Game Boy Advance, I think in like 2003, <coughs> like a year later. And that was, that being a spinoff on the GBA worked because everybody and their brother in the mid 2000s own a Game Boy Advance in some capacity. Whether that was the original or, like, the SP, everybody had a Game Boy Advance, so you could play it. There was no excuse not to play it, unless you just didn't care for Kingdom Hearts. But, 
it made sense to play Chain of Memories. And then Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005. And even if you had to play Chain of Memories, like... There... You could still get through Day 2 rather easily. Exactly, exactly. You could still get through I, I it rather even, easily. I didn't even beat Chain of Memory, Retain of Memories, right? Because, well, not because I didn't want to, because my disc got scratched up after the... After the second I haven't, the with that fight. I haven't even touched it, if I have to be honest, but, um... And you're not missing but so, Just watch a Let's Play. But then, so Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005. So, in a period of basically, uh, three, three years, you had, you had Kingdom Hearts 1, you had Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and you had Kingdom Hearts 2. So the, the, the momentum train was like, was like on point. It was like hype, right? Like Kingdom Hearts was like 100% in its prime in that three years. And then, uh, hang on, I have to put this shit up again. Oppression. 365 days came out next. It did. Hang on, I'm just getting the timeline. Um. Uh. <coughs> actually, Reaching <coughs> Memories came out in 07. But yeah. So then. But then. Um. But it was like it was hot. Like it was hot off the press. It was great. It was cool. Um. But then, like, it was silent for a few years until 2008. And then in 2008, um, I actually think it was like in 2007 when they made the announcement. But um, they said, hey, Kingdom Hearts is going to come back, but there's going to be coded for mobile phones. 358 over two days on the DS. And... Birth by Sleep on the PSP. And that's where they fucked up. Is yeah. they stretched themselves too thin. They got greedy. They got greedy. That's that's what I think it is. Is that they got greedy. And like back in that day, you know, most people did not own both a DS and a PSP at the same time. That's really expensive. There is expensive. And so most people owned one or the other. <coughs> no, I owned both at the time, but I never got around to playing Birth by Sleep on PSP. And Jacob owned both, but we're hmm. kind of like exceptions. Like, we're yeah, not yeah, like, yeah. not everybody had one. So the problem is, is that, you know, you could only play like one of these <coughs> games. And unless you shelled out the cash to get one of the consoles, you or, know... Or had an emulator. Or had an emulator, which... But the problem was, was back then, you know, emu emulation for, like, DS and PSP was, like, still, like, legitimately in <laughs> infancy. <laughs> infancy. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Emulation was how um, I played uh, Birth by Sleep. But so, um... But yeah... And, you know, you're not going to get the full, the full story because, well, unless you shell out the cash, <coughs> get that one of those consoles and the game, uh, I guess fuck you. Mm. I mean, you could just go read the plot online, but it's not the same as, like, experiencing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's really... I've got the hiccups now, by the and way. And then... And then with Coded, like, Coded was also, like, important... Coda didn't even come out in America. It came out in Japan only. And then so it came out as recoded. That. I wouldn't say it's coded to that important. It has some significance to it, but the fact remains is that they announced coded, but were like, yeah, but it's not coming out in America. So people were kind of like, okay, well, fuck I guess us, fuck man. us. And then recoded came out on the DS. And then, and then, I, and then recoded came out on the DS. And then, um, and then Square Enix learned their lesson from, wow, you know, maybe we shouldn't put, like, these games on, like, three different handhelds. And they released Dream Dots Distance on... Oh, I didn't. They, they released Dream Dots Distance on 3DS, which 
everybody, a lot of most people had a 3DS or a 2DS over a PSP or a PSP Vita. Not that um, it doesn't matter because a few a few months uh, a few years later they released it on the collection on they the did 2. they collection, did and it's 2. way 5. better uh, with an actual controller than playing on a 3ds. Yes, yes, it is. And then, um, but yeah, and then they released uh, Kingdom Hearts X in 2013, um, which like most people did not play despite positive reviews because it's a fucking mobile game yeah. Uh, yeah it was pretty fun it was fun though i heard it was fun but it had like a bunch of it was like a prologue like set like during like the keyblade wards or some shit like that i don't know a whole lot yeah. about it and I, then I, uh, st I stand by the fact that that shouldn't have been a that should have been <coughs> either like a, a, a mmo or its own single player game Probably should have been its own single player game. And then they released 2.8 in 2017. Uh, and With then finally. The 0 0.2 uh, thing. And then finally. Finally, 14 years after Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, they released Kingdom Hearts 3 in 2019. But at that point. At that point, and I'm not trying to say. Do not misconstrue that I'm trying to say that Kingdom Hearts is not popular anymore. Kingdom Hearts mm. is still very popular. Um, but the, the hype, the like the initial hype, the initial peak of Kingdom Hearts back when like what two came out, that was gone. Like the momentum had like I I can't, I can't agree with that. <laughs> I I I disagree. The momentum was gone. No, the I was gone. that because 3, to this date, is still one of the highest selling uh, KH games, last time I checked. It may be one of the highest selling, but that doesn't mean, <laughs> like, everybody and their brother went out to fucking buy it. And if you compare, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 to, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, like, I don't see too many people, like, talking about three not out of like negativity or anything like it's not a bad game but it just doesn't have as much of an impact as the original two did i i don't even blame that on k3 i blame that on public perception specifically because they um they overhyped the game for themselves and, and and that's not just a k8 problem that happens in a lot of um with a lot of things the game it could does be perfectly yeah it's like but people I will think... hype themselves up and, and put all these un, um, unrealistic expectations on the game. So when they get disappointed, but... they blame the game instead of themselves. But, but think of like, think of like, <coughs> think of like the impact. Like, let, let, let me paint the picture for you, Tion, because I know you were pretty young back when you were you were just a kid when the original games came out, right? Yes, uh, I was oh. even enough, I was even enough to really you know play through them. I didn't play them until middle school right so like i let me paint the picture for you king when i Tion, when i said like kingdom hearts was like peak like back in like the mid 2000s like it was huge it was hot it was like fresh everybody like and their are like like if you're a weeb like in high school like you play kingdom hearts like like no exception everybody played kingdom <coughs> hearts. everybody talked about kingdom hearts Kingdom Hearts was all over the place. Like, uh, untold dozens amounts of fan sites, um, all kinds of theories. Uh, people would play the games religiously. And when, um, and when like, the, at the end of 2, when, when we saw the Keyblade Wars, at the Birth by Sleep teaser, um, the, which was a secret ending people lost their shit it was yeah, like the people... most exciting thing and then people were like kingdom hearts 3 is gonna be the best game in the entire fucking franchise i right. don't think it's the best but i think it's like still top three at best but Especially... but um but but yeah Tion, like it was huge it was like ginormous and then and then <laughs> unfortunately they just took too long to release three they like got which, you know, 
the reason why 3 took too long is because Square Enix can't manage any of their properties. And they fucked around with 13. 13 versus. And the whole entire debacle with Final Fantasy 14 being an absolute commercial failure before they rebuted it. You forgot about Type um, Zero. And Type Zero. Oh, God. Fucking Type Zero. <laughs> type Zero is super fucking hyped up. Barely anybody played it. Oi. I said barely anybody, not everybody <laughs> didn't play it. You have to be you be honest, Jacob. Be honest. Type Zero is good. It was a good game, but not many people played it. Yeah, I know. But, but I, I played it. But um but during that entire time, like like the initial hype, the initial like popularity Oh, when Kingdom Hearts was fresh, it waned. It waned away. It... What? Someone can leave? Oh, Tion waned. Weird. This Discord probably crashed. Rip. He'll be back in. I got the hiccups. He's got the hiccups. This always happens when I have spicy food. <laughs> All right, where are we? North Gustaburg on the yeah, way think, to the Concha Highlands. I think Tion's Discord must have I sent him a message, but he hasn't responded <laughs> back. Mm. He, he needs to get a new computer once he gets money. I, I know, dude. He fucking does. He fucking does. He's on some, like, <coughs> $700, like, gaming laptop. Mm, he needs a tower. Think it, yeah, he does need a tower. He has, like, an Alienware. Alienware just like half is probably... such the is the most hit and miss fucking company in, in the world. It really is. They used to be so good, and then Dell bought them, and then yeah. Dell like fucking turned them to <laughs> shit. Nuked them. Sega is a I'll good right company. Back. Okay. I'll be right back. Take a minute. No good. Sorry, my mom is calling me, so needed help with something. Uh, Joey uh, went to the ba bathroom, so we'll continue our conversation in a bit. Uh, I've got the hiccups really bad. Sorry, man. Mm, that's fine. It hurts. I'm just running through the wasteland. I'm trying to shake that. I gotta put on the top of me. Huh? The top of me. There's nothing in those spots. Oh, there it is. I have Kingdom Hearts 3 on my PS4. I just haven't played it yet. I got an I got an PS4. I bought it on bought it once a day, right? Mm. And I have it on PC for mods. Mm. I wonder oh, how. Is. I wonder how the new character they introduced in the DLC is go is gonna um, impact Kingdom Hearts 4. My thing is just that which ending for KH3 DLC is canon. Mm. 
Because there's two different endings. One where Sora wins and one where you Zora wins. Mm. So you're most likely going to see the one where Sora gets his ass kicked. Mm. <clears throat> I've never fought you, Zora. Oh, man. Because the data rematches that pick in my ass. Hmm. <coughs> they are hard. Hmm. Yeah. I want to get some Final Fantasy games done under my belt before I start playing 2 on my channel. Hmm. Mostly seven, eight, and ten. Hmm. So I can have my, my chat viewers who've never really seen King of Skin. Final Fantasy! Hmm. Hold on, where do I need to go over here? <clears throat> I'm gonna make some speakles, guys. Monument is over there. They sure do suck, don't they? What? Hmm? Don't they suck? What sucks? Hiccups. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell is there? Dang. I got it for like an hour before they wear off. <clears throat> Gotta hold your breath, son. Doesn't work. Maybe you didn't try hard enough. Doesn't work. You gotta drink some water. Uh, I'd have to get up for that. Fucking get up. Go get some water, bitch. I'd have to get up for that. Get up and get now. water! <laughs> Lazy ass. I am running through a video game map right now. Excuse me. I'm mo I am monologuing. I'm monologuing. The hall is on fire. I'm monologuing. Okay, I'll go get water real quick. Stare at Rock and Jill Fish's blank molding face. All right. <laughs> I'm trying, to trying to find a fucking pan so I can cook these damn tacos. Also, Joey, uh, this card didn't pass on me. That was just helping my mom. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I heard. But, uh, but yeah. So, Tion, So, but, but basically, I mean, like, during that whole debacle with like, uh, fucking versus thirteen, and type zero, and the failure of the first run of fourteen, like, Kingdom Hearts just kind of got shoved to the side. Unfortunately, that's just how it is, and. There wasn't really any love for it for a while until they got all that shit sorted out in 14. And Final Fantasy uh, 15 came out and they got 14 like fixed up. And then, but like, but by that time though, like by the time they finally got back to like, yeah, we're gonna release Kick Up Hearts 3, like the 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 like initial momentum was like gone like the peak the peak popularity of like kingdom hearts had kind of like waned away and again i'm not saying it like people still didn't care about kingdom hearts i'm not At saying it like it won't be as bad as model as uh mass effect uh five yeah yeah well mass effect five because at least at least for enix Still had the possibility of existing the complete um, Kingdom Hearts uh, three. Right, 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 right. But yeah, I, I, I'm just saying that, like, even though like Kingdom Hearts three like did really, like, it still sold well. I'm just saying that, like, if it came out when the iron was still hot and Kingdom Hearts was like 
still really like at its peak popularity, I think it would have done even better. And I think I think more people would have <laughs> like had more of an investment into it. Um, but I think as it is, like, it's still fine. It still sold well. I mean, people still liked it. It wasn't perfect, but, you it's know... It's still a great game. It's still a great game. Most of the problems I hear about KA3 is mostly it's story beats, but I will admit, it could have been better, especially with Kyrie. I personally, I personally feel like, just from, like, what I've seen, because I still need to play it, I feel like they could have done better with their Disney crossovers. <laughs> yes, the Disney crossovers were done better and worse than two. Because at least in two, you could cut Sora, Dawn, and Goofy out and miss nothing. But when it comes to the worlds, like Frozen specifically, I would say, no, no, no I'll take that back. Three's world crossovers are better than two. Because at least um, Sora, Dawn, and Goofy have more interactions with the characters, right. have time to bond with them, I and there's think... more original plots. I think a big problem with though with like the dis like the, just... the Disney. Yeah, Frozen, however, yeah, that was the worst world. Ugh. The problem with Frozen, though, and I guess like because I I I read an interview somewhere that um, well, obviously Disney wanted there to be a Frozen world because Frozen was like stupid the hot popular shit. at the yeah. time it, it came out. Yeah. Frozen <laughs> is the only. Other than Atlantica, where they have where they sing all their songs, I'm not surprised by that. But the problem and it's is, not even is a rhythm game; it's a cutscene. The, the problem with um, Frozen was that by the time Kingdom Hearts three came out, like the pot, like Frozen, nobody like cared. the popularity for Frozen, like like was gone. Like <laughs> nobody cared. People have moved on. Okay, um, I I. I'll ask that question later. Continue. Um, and like, like the 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 game released, and like people were kind of like, "Oh wow, Frozen, cool, thanks." Like, um, I'd say more people were honestly hyped about the Toy Story world. <laughs> they were yeah, it was its own original story that's canon to Toy Story. Also, you had Woody telling uh, Zayn and Orr to go fuck himself. It's like, it's like you, no bitches, nobody loves you. <laughs> okay, I have a question. If instead question? of sticking with the Disney crossovers from now on, Kingdom Hearts 3, or Kingdom Hearts 4, what if they just crossed over with, like, Dragon Quest, um, Parasite Eve... Chrono Trigger, stuff like that from now on, it's rather than um, you, stuck with it's Disney. It's funny. It's funny you mentioned that because Parasite, a Parasite, Eve, the Parasite Eat MC, I believe, was supposed to be in KH One instead mm. of Air. She was. I Abra I was supposed to be in Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah. yeah. I would have a. I I'm trying to think of how they would work that in. I'd I'd love for that to happen, but having her fight the Heartless instead of um, mitochondria transform shit. Would be kind of weird. Because Parasite Eve's really gritty. It is really gritty. Uh, my but I love it. I love that personal, series. My personal take on the crossover aspects of Kingdom Hearts is that I personally believe they're underselling the Disney aspect. Um, because... There is such a wide variety of Disney IPs to pick and choose from beyond just the core movies that they could have went yeah. with and done original work, uh, like, stories uh, with. Like the TV shows, like an Baby at Disney World would have been cool for like the more modern yeah. ones. Um, or like you could have had a Gargoyles World, Gravity you Falls. Had a Gravity Falls, you could have had Kim Possible. Um, you could have had American Dragon uh, Jake Long. Um, God, Gargoyles sound amazing. Gargoyles would be so fucking dope. You could have had um, DuckTales, Darkwing Duck. Well, uh, I mean, but they didn't have one, like, actually focused on DuckTales. Like, yeah, they had oh, Scrooge what? McDuck. The, the nephews yes. were there. But, like, they didn't have, like... You know, the 
like a, like a like a story focused on like Ducktales in general. I think that would have been a lot of fun. All right. Um, so since okay, but uh, I gotta I gotta off topic but real quick. Since it was since we brought them up, did you know, Jacob, that the voice act, the Japanese voice actors for Huey, Dewey, and Louie is the same um, woman who does Agumon? Hmm. That was cool. In fact, one of her one of her voices is just straight up Agumon for her, for the for the triplets. Interesting. But no, like, more Disney Channel original cartoons would have been great. Yes. Also, the fact is, is that by 3, they kind of dropped the Final Fantasy crossovers, which is part of the reason people came to Kingdom Hearts. In the, and that's, in the um, place. that was something, uh, I read into that, that was something that people actually criticized 3 about, was that they, um, dropped a lot of the Final Fantasy aspects. Yeah. Which, again, that's why people were playing... Uh, Kingdom Hearts because they like the, the the crossover between like Disney yeah, and Final I, Fantasy characters. I wanted Sora to meet another version of Noctis. Yeah, like I would have loved for like Sora to meet like any number of like either SquareSoft or like I Enix see. characters. Like, oh, yeah, and you know, it's pretty like, clear that um, Kingdom Hearts can go on just Final Fantasy because 3DS had the world. Um, what, what, what the, the world ends with you characters, like yeah, well, uh, like characters. Jacob. Wouldn't it have been cool if like Sora met like uh, Claude from? Fantasy that would have been fucking that would dope. That would have been awesome. I would have liked it if Sora uh, met what the fuck was the name from? One of the uh, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name of the franchise now. But God damn it. Like, I would have loved... Hitman 47. What's that? Agent 47 from Hitman. Okay, that would not happen. That, that would, would not fucking happen. That would fucking happen. Yeah, I know. I'm joking. That would be hilarious, though. Um, But, um... But, yeah, I, I feel like... The... Especially, like, with two... Like, 2 basically just retreads a lot of, like, the stuff that was introduced in 1, Disney-wise, which I think is just, like, a big, like... Except Tarzan. Well, Except Tarzan. Tarzan. But that was because Disney lost the rights to, to Tarzan. Haha, <laughs> stupid. Wait, no, I like the Mulan. You think... You think... You I think like the Mulan. We'll, we'll, we'll... Oh, wait, what the hell? I like the Mulan world though. That was that was good. I like Mulan. I love how Mulan becomes instantly more useful the moment she sets her secret uh, man man up. I, I know, right? Like her fucking like disguise like is fucking like terrible at fighting, and then as soon as she takes her disguise off, she Why like all over the goddamn place. Like legitimately like looking like something out of a wushu film. Yeah, girl power. See, Marvel, that's how you actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> as well as having one of the coolest looking um limits with Sora. Also, I I know I'm probably gonna be like one of like the million other fucking people who said it, but they should have done they should have done a treasure planet in an Atlantis world. And the fact that they oh, did hell it is yeah. fucking criminal. It's absolutely Wait, you guys criminal. Want to hear some money? What's that? You want to know how Sora and the gag on to find out how Mulan was a woman in the uh, manga? How? They walk in on her taking a bath. <laughs> oh, them. Those crazy kids. Those those crazy Japanese and their, their walking on bath jokes. I'm still sad that we didn't get our Saturday morning Kingdom Hearts. Oh, <laughs> uh, it looked cool. It looked it gave great. It more personality other than being just a Yama, being another Yamato from Digimon. No, it would no, have been great. No joke, though. I I really think that they wasted a lot of potential with Kingdom Hearts for crossovers with J JRPGs. Agreed. Agreed. There's there's so much they could have done. 
Now, what I'm really missing is a front mission, a front mission crossover. Let's go. Front mission crossover. <laughs> I know, the I know, I know. You're gonna I'm get is Sora. The closest you're gonna get is Sora riding a mech in um the three. No, if you really want to push like the crossover, uh, perspective, and I've seen this played with um in the community, you could make. Make it that it's not just exclusive to Final Fantasy and uh, Disney IPs. You could push like other IPs as well. well I was saying like Chrono Trigger and stuff. Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah, like Chrono Trigger. But I, I was world, saying like the world ends with you people, is in Final Fantasy. But I was saying yeah, like right. people have done like uh, they've done like stuff with like Nickelodeon IPs and um like Cartoon it's Network weird. IPs. It, I, I so know so it's forth. weird saying this, but I understand Cartoon Network, but when it's Nick characters paired up with Sonic, it just looks weird. I can't I mean, explain fair. why. It's... it's Uncanny Valley. I agree. Yeah. Wait, when it's did Disney lose say, the rights okay, to can... Tarzan? Uh, shortly after the original Kingdom Hearts came out. Oh, rip. Yeah, but like, what I, what um, I was trying to say was, I can because see... Because I think Tarzan... Uh, Tarzan, Disney, rights. Oh. Licensing and rights. The rights to Tarzan and related characters are not wholly owned by Disney. But yeah, I can see Mickey next to Sora, and there will be no problem. His design can work as like kind of like an anime book. But you put SpongeBob next to Sora, and I'm just thinking to myself, nah, that doesn't work. I wouldn't. I want to do anything like SpongeBob or like Fairly Odd Parents. That's that's too cartoony for it. Um, I was thinking more along the lines of something like like Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom has the same art style as um, very odd Phantom. Things. Yeah, but it's 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 a more serious tone for the most part. Yeah, right. And you could have like Ghost Heartless, like uh like they are yeah, in the um, They I know, but you could have the Ghost Heartless as part of the theme of ghosts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Cartoon Network's easier because they usually have the more serious shows out of the three uh, networks. Say that again, Tion. Cartoon Network's easier to imagine than Kingdom Hearts because they got the more serious um, cartoons out of the three networks. Oh, hands down. Hands down. Do you think a Ben 10 crossover would uh, be a good That one? would be baller as long as it was the it, few, it, as long as it was the right timeline of Ben 10. If it, uh, I'm difficult to say, then, like, not anything Alien Force or past that, oh, you know? Oh, fuck you, Alien Force would have been perfect. I only say that because that's when they start, you know, talk, going to other planets and shit like that, and that would be just confusing, because that's not a world for Kingdom Heart. That's just space, you know? Right. Then again, well, shit's the same thing, so... I really would matter. say... I would say either... If we did one, I would say either like original Ben 10 or probably Alien Force mm. when Ben was like serious and they didn't make him an asshole. I don't get it's like Ben. How many times did Ben cheat on Julie in Alien Force? My God, too many times. Man, they really, they really like assassinated Ben's character for they the sole sake of war. They were trying to make him more like his original counterpart. Never mind the fact that he was ten. <sighs> he wasn't. He wasn't really yeah, an that's asshole what, like that. That's what people don't like. That's what I I hate so much about like, and I don't know if that's like solely like an executive decision thing or it's like what the writers of Man of Action think. But like, people don't understand the reason why Ben was such a dick in the original is that he was like fucking ten. Like, like a literal ch child. Like a Actually, literal no, child. 11. Or 11. But still, like, wow, an 11-year-old, like, doing dickish things because he's selfish? Yeah. It's almost like he's a child or something. 
Yeah, which is why I think people are saying, oh, it was a, it's a jump to how nice it is. And then, of course, it's, like, it's been like 17, 16 years. That's a lot of time for a person to grow up and mature. Well, he's like, I think he's like 16 or 17 in um, Alien Force. He's a teenager in Alien Force. Is. Yeah, he's a teenager. That's what I'm saying. Like, from adolescent to teenager, a lot of shit can happen. A lot of maturing. Well, happens. you said you said it's been like 16, 17 years. I think you meant to say he's no, like no. 16, 17. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, like, you know, it's been like, uh, hang on, let me do the math. Five, six, like five or like six years since he was like you know a kid and like you said like with somebody like ben you know he probably went through a lot of shit and yeah, matured a lot of shit and grew up, yeah. i have a hot take what is your hot take my hot take is that they did too many episodes about ghost face ghost freak ghost freak Why did yeah you say that? because they got annoying after a while eh? Like, way too many episodes. I do and don't agree. I think he made for a good antagonist. But I I do feel like they were kind of started to push it by by the end of his, like, final appearance as a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, in Omniverse, he just kept coming and coming back. And until the until Ben found a way to permanently kill him by just making a miniature son, so he can't respawn in the room he was in. Hmm. He just got anno annoying after a while. I do like that in um, Omniverse when the alien popped up back in his Omnitrix. He was so scared to use it. What is Omniverse even about? I stopped watch watching by that point. Omniverse is about Ben being a full-time drummer. Hmm. With a partner. Hmm. Yeah, with a partner. I actually like Rook a lot. I was gonna say, I was just about to bring it up. I would say, like, the best part about Omniverse is I, I really like Rook a lot. He's a good foil the show is actually The show is actually pretty funny, too. It is. It's definitely a lot funny, but again, it's like... They made they made my they made major, Ben too much of a dick. Yeah, my major issue with that is the whole Kenny Kai plot. Nobody liked Kai in the original series, right? It had been mm -hmm. we have established that there is a multiverse in the Ben Two universe, right? So why is Kenny freaking out about his existence if he doesn't get with you know if his mom if dad doesn't get with um Kai? Right. And I really hate the fact that they try they they push Kai as being Ben's fucking default love interest like that's bullshit yeah it's bullshit bring julie back <laughs> bring julie back they didn't even they didn't even break up legitimately it was the stupidest reason why they break up it was a retarded reason Um, I got really sick of Ben 10 by the end. I, I, I haven't seen the reboot at all, except for a few I haven't episodes, and it seemed all right. I haven't seen it either, but, like, so my general, uh, my general, like, thoughts on Ben 10 is that I enjoyed the original, I really enjoyed Alien Force, um, I tried to watch... Uh, the third one, the third series was Ultimate Alien, Tion? Is that what it was called? Yeah. Yes. I yes. tried to watch Ultimate Alien, but I was, like, put off with, like, how much of an asshole Ben was. So I didn't watch it. And then I watched a few episodes. I watched Omniverse here and there. And, like... The theme was a I, bop. The theme was a bop. And I genuinely enjoyed most of it. But, again, I was still just put off by, like, how, like dickish ben was and it's just like man we went from ben and like alien force being like a like cool badass to him just being a fucking asshole and like i can't i can't deal with this i will give ultimate alien this it had some of ben's most badass moments it did it had some sick fucking moments for ben but
but just like all in all, I just I just hated how they just assassinated this assassination. character. Yeah. Tacos. Gotta let it cool down a bit before I eat the salmon and wait for the taco shell to come. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm still baffled. I will never forget the day Kit me realized that. Team Ben and Sasuke have the same voice actor. Mostly because I couldn't comprehend it because I hated Sasuke, but I love Ben. You didn't know that either. But you're in Lothal? Yeah. You're in Lothal is just fucking everywhere. <laughs> More like Sasuke. What? Was he Sasuke? <laughs> I don't think you're in Lone Thaw really does anime anymore, no. You know, other than Return Against Sasuke. Oh, Joey, speaking of Martha, did you see those two Twitter uh, things I sent you? Uh, hang on. The, um, the, hang on. The fucking, uh, comparisons. I saw them, I haven't played yeah. them yet. Dude, it feels like they're, they dumped the game with eight. Do you guys think Sora needs a mentor figure? No. No? No, I feel like Sora works better. Like, Sora's <laughs> entire... Well, I say that because Sora has proven that if he has a mentor, he starts fucking up more, because they don't know how to direct him. Otherwise, room drop distance wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I feel like I get where you're coming from, Tion, but I feel like yes and no. But I feel like the the um, um the charm of Sora's character is that he kind of just figures shit out on his own. Mm. Yeah, that too. Like, Sora's entire style is, is self-taught, and that's partly one of the reasons why he's so fun to play as. What about Roxas? Roxas? Roxas just, you know, Sora with two keyblades. Like, none of Roxas' moves are his own. They're all Sora's moves if he'd use two keyblades. Hmm. Did people who didn't play, um, three, 358 Days Over 2... Um, understand who the fuck Xion was in Kingdom Hearts 3? No. Mm. Again, like I was saying, because people didn't- weren't fucking able to play it! And also because 3 Fate over 2 days fucking sucks to play! Uh, I not change my mind on this. I am not asking I fell asleep playing that game. What'd you say, Tion? I fell asleep playing that game when I first joined. I love see, that game. See, see what I was saying, Jaycon? It's boring. I know, but it's I love that game. Boring. It is bad game. Bad gameplay. We have fairly established several times that I like shitty games. <laughs> and like I said, Square Enix apparently agreed because they made 350 over two days cutscenes only in the collection. Also, uh, Jaycon, if you want some. Wine with your shit taste? Sure. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, so I, I just learned a fact and I didn't know this. The reason why Mickey doesn't have a major role in the first Kingdom Hearts game is because he was being used for Capcom's Dizzy Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse and they weren't willing to share the uh, character rights with Square. Yep. And after heavy negotiation, Capcom agreed to allow Mickey one scene as long as he was in silhouette. I did not know that. I mean... I mean, it's still an incredible scene. It's still a really good it's scene to sell. Still a really good scene, and they they picked they picked the right moment for it. Definitely. I love that two point. Who would be your two dream point. crossover with Kingdom Hearts? My dream huh. crossover with Kingdom Hearts. 
Yeah. Hmm. Bleach. Bleach. <laughs> Just kidding. Bleach would be interesting. I only say Ruby because it's uh because Monty Ng clearly was inspired by Kingdom Hearts. I I agree. I uh I uh actually had a uh interesting concept for a Ruby crossover with the Kingdom Hearts a long time ago. Back when but, uh, yeah, back when I still gave a fuck about still mildly gave a fuck about Ruby. But um, but I could I could definitely see like the inspiration, especially like with the Grim being kind of like the heartless. Think about Bleach though. You could have Aizen as a main villain. That would be sick. Aizen as big as a threat he would, but probably get outplayed by Zayn with Tsunami Wami bullshit. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but that's not a factor You're fucking anymore. right. <laughs> you looked at my sword, it's already too late for you. I'm sorry, Zenimorts, but I time traveled to make sure I would never look at your sword. But instead, you looked at your sword, and this is all an illusion because I stole your sword. Well, that fucking you... legitimately sounds like something Xehanort would do. <laughs> that sounds like something Nomura would write. Nomura, you can't keep- he can't keep getting away with this! My favorite, you know, my favorite, my favorite part about Xehanort, well, mostly young Xehanort in um, Zemnis, not Zemnis, Ansem. Why are they both voiced by <laughs> in the dub specifically? A young and old Joseph, respectively. Hmm. That is my favorite off bat to bring up. Oven. Kyle Herbert's performance as Xehanort, though, not Xehanort, as a a Aizen was perfection, though. There's something the way that he talks, right, that just sound just sounds hypnotic. Who else is a good Shonen Jump villain? I want to say Madara, but he's too much of a villain suit for me to say that. Madara is... I... I'm so mixed on Madara because, like, the concept of Madara is cool, but the execution and his motivations are just so utterly petty and pedantic that I don't see him as, like, a villain worthy of anybody's time. Okay. Because the sole reason why he does anything, the sole reason why he has such a big chip on a soldier is because he felt like Hashirama wasn't treating him as an equal. Even though, yeah. literally, Hashir Hashirama went out of his way to, like, make sure the Uchiha's were taken care of and, like, shared, yeah. like, everything equally with Madara. But it, it, and like the hindsight of everything, it just feels like Madara did everything because he threw a fucking temper tantrum because Hashirama he was, didn't He was upset didn't, that his boyfriend didn't pay attention to him enough and sit on his wife. Exactly. That's what it feels like. One of my <laughs> One of my favorite lines that I wrote ahead of time for something I'm not gonna write is just Naruto saying, Hey, look, it's the first, it's the first Hokage side pitch! <laughs> true but, or uh, false? The third Hokage is legitimately a terrible person. Hokage. Yeah, Fucking no. no cap! No cap! I feel like totally no cap. Time I Toby. about Naruto, I always bring up the fact that the Hokage, the third Hokage sucks. He took care of Sasuke perfectly fine, and then he couldn't but, be bothered to take care of Naruto. He couldn't be bothered to take care of the fourth fucking son. 
Hold up, what do you mean he took care of um, Sasuke perfectly fine? No, if that was true, Sasuke wouldn't, been, would have, been, wouldn't have pulled his entire bullshit. Sasuke had a TV in serious. his room. That was left there. Naruto and couldn't was... get unexpired milk. Yeah. But, to be fair, I didn't know that wasn't a TV left there by the other TI. No, 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 You can't pull that shit. You can't pull that shit. So you're telling me you thought you just went around throwing TVs just to be a dick? I'm saying that, um... <clears throat> the third took better care of Sasuke and gave him every opportunity he could to make him try to be raised properly because of the guilt he felt over everything versus how he treated Naruto as basically a, um... Waste of space as an afterthought when he promised the fourth and Kushina that he would take care of him perfectly fine. My main problem is with Hiroshima not killing that that he didn't punish Danto at all when and I don't know if you guys noticed, Danto was the one who beat Naruto's um, status at the ninth of the year. Yeah, I know. Wait, His what? Reason being yeah. Named, Danto was the one who leaked Naruto's um, status as the Nine Tails Jinjuriki. Who did? Yeah. Danto. Don Don yeah, 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 yeah. It's Danzo's fault that Naruto got treated so like stupid. shit growing up. His reason for it was so stupid. Danzo's reason for it was so stupid. It's because he needed the ability to get someone to hate after the Uchiha massacre or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so stupid. It's it's so it is upsetting. It's extremely upsetting. And like, you know, it's so like like at first like you think like, oh, you know, Saratobi is just trying his best. He really is. And Naruto is just kind of a irresponsible goof. But like as the series goes on and you like learn more and more like, no. Uh, no, like Saratobi is just a shitty fucking person. Yeah. He's a shitty fucking person. He's a shitty fucking leader. He... Like, okay, yeah, like, I get it. It fucking sucks. The Force died, and he had to, like, go back to leading again. But even fucking then, like... Even then, he should have fucking, like... Gone out of his way to fucking... One, find a replacement as soon as he could. And two, like... Hold good on his promise and take care of Naruto, but he fucking did it. That's the one thing about Naruto fans that you should really like. They actually used to Salvatore being counter to the impact of Naruto. One of my favorites, right, is that Saratobi actually invited Naruto to live, uh, you know, invited Naruto over to his um, clan complex, right? And Naruto was one of the first people to hold baby Konohamaru. You say that again, Tion. One of my favorite, uh, I can't remember the name of it, I've been looking for it for fucking ever, but it was like Saratobi would always like constantly invite Naruto over to his clan complex and uh, in that thick. Naruto was one of the first people to hold baby Konohamaru. Oh, that's really sweet. That would have been nice. But, but yeah, no, it's just really annoying to me because anything. like, like, if they wanted us to, like, be endeared to Saratobi, like, they should have just made Saratobi, like, give a shit about Naruto. Yeah. I, I feel ashamed that I want to name one of my characters my OG series Saratobi, because I feel like the name's tainted by him. <laughs> and it really annoys me because, like, a lot of, like, fics go out of their way to, like, actually, like, you know, go that, like, yeah, no, Saratobi does give a shit because, like, obviously he's not going to do it in canon. Which is what really, like, hey, it, it... What's that? Listen, I don't know why we expect Naruto to take care of, um... Saratoi to take care of Naruto when he doesn't even, um... He barely hangs out with his own grandson. And that's true. Now, I could... Now, you could argue, though, that it's also a bit of a cultural thing, too. I mean, Japan and their workaholic tendencies... Yeah, but, but if, uh, I'm pretty sure even in Japan, they agree how Sakurai cheating Naruto was trash. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been that could have been written way better, but like, nah, we gotta. He's gotta. He's gotta, gotta treat him like shit. I will never forget when he said, when he said to Nar when Naruto asked about his parents, he said it's like the dead anyway. This doesn't matter. Like, what the fuck? Why would you say that? Yeah. Why would you fucking say that to a child? Yeah. How are you going to disrespect your fucking successor's progeny that way? All you had to say was is that I can't tell you, Naruto, but know that they loved you. Yeah, legit. Because Minato said he didn't want Naruto to know until he became a Joni. Which wasn't going to happen if he couldn't have the motivation. Exactly. Because, cool. like, how was he supposed to figure that part out when he was treated like shit the entire time? Treated like shit. Didn't get the education he needed. The fucking... A lot of, like, the teachers, uh, other than Iruka, who even him at first didn't care for Naruto, but then did, didn't give a shit about Naruto. Couldn't be bothered to teach him anything. And then when Naruto was like, okay, cool, well, I'm just gonna fucking fuck off and cause havoc. Like, because... Why not? He was never going to get... He was never going to become a Jonin until, like, fate, like, fate forced him to, like, give a shit. Also, I gotta call Kakashi out, too, because he did nothing for Naruto, either. Yeah. I... I'm a little more torn on Kakashi, because, like... Saratobi, like, yeah, okay, Saratobi, like, 100%, put the blame, like, just absolute, like, purpose I neglect. do We're like, okay, go ahead, sir. But with, like, Kakashi, like, Kakashi is such, like, a emotionally, like, detached person who went through a lot of shit in his life, where... I just feel like even if he wanted to do something for Naruto growing up, I just don't think he knew, like, what the fuck to do. Like, that's fair. One and I feel like... interpretation is that mm -hmm. when Takashi wasn't on Boo, he was the one assigned to uh, look after Naruto from the shadows as a kid. I've, I've, I've heard that too. I've 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 seen those theories as well, but I just I just feel like he's just such a like emotionally like stunted person that even if he wanted to like do like like do something for Naruto, like I don't think he would have been able to do it on his own. Like he would have needed a partner of some kind to like raise Naruto together. Because as is, like, Hikashi is just too, like, he's too, like, far into the, the hole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's too... He's fucked up in the head. He's too fucked up in the head. Exactly. He's like, seen too much shit. He's seen too much shit. He's just too emotionally stunted. And I, I've seen theor I've seen people say like, oh, why didn't Kakashi do anything? And Kakashi outright says, I didn't do anything because like, like, if I try to do something, I feel like I would make it worse. Like, I'm too well, fucked in the okay. head. But there's no excuse for Jiraiya. And and I agree, there is no excuse for Jiraiya. Like his like sole excuse is like, oh well. I'm taking care of, like, the spy network, but I also think Jiraiya felt, like, a, like, significant amount of guilt for, like, what happened with his student, and I feel like he was avoiding the responsibility of, like, taking care of Naruto because, uh, I just don't think he wanted to face, face the fact that, like, his student was dead, and seeing Naruto just reminded him too much of that. Is that, like, a, like an excuse for him to avoid him his entire life? No. No. But I do think... I do he's the godfather. Exactly. I do think, though, like, I can understand why. And to be fair, like, when he does come back into Naruto's life, he does make up for it a lot. <sighs> but still, he should have been there for him. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh. Uh, I hit a button uh, that made me walk. It, Hold on. And since we're talking about Naruto, if this was a discussion we're having. I was having the who just started Naruto, right? Mm -hmm. Sasuke did not earn his redemption. No, he did not. No, he did not. He did not earn his redemption. So until he got his ass beat by Naruto, he was an evil dick, and he evil dick. And then after Naruto beat his ass, he decided to turn to a good side. To a good side. Through no reckoning, rec, rec, uh, the no reflecting on his side or anything. Compared to someone like Bakugo from My Hero, who went, who I still do think that if Deku didn't get a quirk, he would never change. But at least when Deku did, right, he still reflected upon his actions and realized that he was wrong and apologized for it very genuinely. It's just the apology. It's just a, yeah, sorry. That's it. I agree. I agree. I don't know. I, I'm also very mixed on Sasuke because, like, Sasuke is also a very emotionally stunted person as well. He is, but like, but I, unlike I Kakashi, I think he, I think he knows enough. Like, he knows enough. He had... He's not emotionally stunted enough to realize that, like, he can't use his tragedy like as an excuse for everything. Adding on to that, one of my other problems with Sasuke is how much he talks himself up when he didn't earn it. Right. I, I agree. A hundred percent agree. Like, after his arc, they want to, they want to, uh, everyone's talking about how badass Sasuke is, but like, after his arc, after his fight with Itachi, that he didn't even win, uh, Itachi just died from his disease, right? Uh -huh. He... He, he 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 immediately gets his ass kicked by B, right? Oh yeah. He shows, like, up, he shows up at the Kage uh summit. summit, gets his ass kicked there, and and then he acts like he defeated Donzo on his own, but no, he had help from um Toby. Yeah, Sasuke tr like tried to gas himself up as like this like unbeatable badass and like gets his shit like fucking rocks time after time after time again. Yeah. Then he had the nerve to act like he didn't need Karen anymore when she was the one who saved his life with B nearly uh, came this just in. Twice. Exactly. Twice. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for fucking Karen, like B would have legitimately like killed Sasuke. Killed all three of those not all four of those All three fighters. of them. Easily. Rip. Fucking um, um, CJ did a, like a fucking great video on on that fight. It's fucking hilarious. Adding Let's see on. if I can find it. There's something that makes me laugh even harder if you really think about it. Been fucking with them that entire fight. He was. And he fucking was. And and to add on to that, he doesn't reach Naruto's level, right? Until I, I don't even think he's on Naruto's level currently. Even yeah. after the series, Naruto was playing defense in their final fight the entire time, and Naruto went while weakened. Right after Sasuke took his chakra, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> still uppercutted him hard enough to stick him through a wall while he was barely able to stand. <laughs> and that's without Kurama's chakra. Yeah, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post this fucking CJ the Champ's fucking uh, part where he's talking about the B the fight between them and B is fucking fantastic. I just wish Sakura had more stuff to do, or at least was at the same level as Naruto and Sasuke. Yeah, they screwed she represents over. the. Yeah, they, they needed they to, all they needed to do was give her a sage mode because physically she's stronger than um Sasuke and fit and um around Naruto's level. Yeah they they give she did Sakura dirty. Just give her a sage mode and allow her to open at least one gate. That's all she needs.
like one or two gates and then see yeah, keep that up was with the rest plus the saves mode. That was something I think people uh, I've seen Dungeon Fix before is is as her learning how to open gates, which would have been like a really good benefit for her. Yeah, honestly, I would say the gates because she desperately she desperately needs a speed strength wise, right? She could mm -hmm. keep up with guys. It's just the speed that's the issue. Mm hmm. And the sage book would mostly be you know. To round out her strength even more, so she could keep up with at least Naruto, as well as like extra mm. abilities that a slug stage would add. Mm. You know, just shit like that. Well, it would have been cool. Like you telling me Sakura couldn't master stage mode? She's a better learner than Naruto ever was, and she's better at chakra control than him too, which is what stage mode is all about. No, I think she could have done it. I 100% agree she could have done it. What a waste it shocks of a me character. Little... What, what was that, uh, Jacob? What a waste of a character. Said, what a waste of a character. I mean, you could say that about, like, almost everybody in Naruto. Yeah. It shocks me just how little fan art there are there is at the stage in Life Sakura. I personally am just annoyed mm -hmm. that... Like... The entire concept of the Jinchuriki is really interesting to me, and I really would have liked more interaction between them all, besides just, like, Gara and, like, B and Naruto, even though Gara isn't technically a Jinchuriki anymore. But, like, yeah, Akats Akatsuki had to, like, fucking, um, like, be showing how badass they were by, like, taking them out, and I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like, it just seems like wasted potential to me. Yeah, we only got the only time we saw an interaction with him was in the Sukiyomi dream. And then Barto is. Oh, yeah, Jacob, did I tell you? I don't want to talk about Boruto. No, no, you want to hear this? Uh, Sasuke's a tree man. Yeah, I heard. We we talked about it. God damn it! <laughs> I remember when I told Joey that, especially that's those fucking what lucky like couldn't pull. Like, yeah, oh, I man, told, I, I told him my reaction. What's funny is that I didn't mean to like all caps say the fuck. I, I hit the caps off by accident when I said that, but <laughs> that's still that still like basically like summed up my reaction. Why do I see a tree? I don't care. And I, I told him about code. I haven't been reading bar, so I just can keep it up to osmosis, right? Mm -hmm. But code is supposed to be the new big bad. Except he keeps getting job. Like every appearance, he keeps getting teeth. His... He's a jobber. It's like he keeps getting talked down to and shit. He's supposed to have the ten teams, right? He's the biggest bitch on there. His first scene with Barto in the time skip is Barto stepping on his face. Get stepped on, bitch. And then his own creations. You have the lamest designs ever. Like, oh my god. Betray him. Because they're sick of his shit. So yeah, very boring. Also, I'm just gonna say this hot take. I'm just gonna say this hot take. You could write sauce, uh, you know, that out of the story and miss nothing. Do what? As much as I. I said you could um write Hinata out of the story, and miss absolutely nothing. Yeah. As much as I love her, you're right. But I feel like you could say that for the other side characters besides Guy and Lee, because they're important for like the final arc. Now, at least the Sasuke retrieval arc would change if you took out like Joji, you know, Sikamaru. Oh, 
That's true. That's yeah. true. They are important for that. But then, like everybody else, it's just like. Uh, um, yeah, and then the and then the heat on versus um. What, uh, what the fuck do they call that arc when they put the heat on and um and um? Shikamaru. Like okay, like yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Like Shikamaru is is definitely prominent enough to, to earn that. But then like everybody else is kind of like they kind of just get pushed yeah, to the side. Them out and you could just try them out. It's disappointing, because they're more interesting characters than, um... I would have loved to see her grow after, um, the Tamari fight, but we never got that. What a waste of uh, a good yeah. design. But the, yeah, like, I will say, like, a big problem. Again, you know, I was talking with, with Jacob about this. I was talking to Jacob about this last night in regards to both Bleach and Naruto, is that... The problem with Naruto and the problem with Bleach is that... You have really interesting side characters... Um, with, like, their own, like, 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 design and powers, and, like, they're really interesting, but they, they fall off. They just fucking fall off. And they get, oh, they don't- at least, at least for Bleach's characters, they have more moments of chance to be badasses than anyone, any side character in they do, but even then, it's like, they get their badass moments, and then they just fall off. And, like, they don't reach the potential that they should. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Should, they should be utilized more, but they're underutilized. Same with, with characters in Naruto. Like you were saying with Sakura, Sakura is very underutilized. The other side characters are very underutilized. Um... Which is really annoying because they're like really good side characters. Like even like though Lee and Guy got their big moments, like I still feel like they're very underutilized characters. Yeah, definitely, like, they're cool definitely. Characters. I think, and this is mostly because I think Classic Man D you know, impacted my thoughts. I think that eighth, <clears throat> the eighth gate should have been Lee's moment. It should have been probably. It should have been more than likely. Moment. You know, and then like you know, using again, that to avenge guy in a way. And it would have been really, really, it would have been super cool if we also found a way to just completely negate the factor too. You know, that would have be... been badass. But like maybe yeah, it like uses a to soften up Madara, and then uh, right after Lee uses it, but he doesn't die. And then, like, the problem with, with Hinata is that, again, Hinata is severely underutilized, and, like... The problem with there's... Hinata is that she doesn't have a character outside of Maruta. Exactly. Like, there's nothing to build upon with her. They have! Because... Everything she does is directly impacted by what Naruto says and does. Exactly, and if if they had gotten together like in the series and not at the end, and like allowed like that part of her character to be completed, where she got with Naruto, and then allow her to like grow as a character from just outside of their relationship, that would have been a lot better and would have like impacted her more. But they don't. Oh, and definitely. thus, and then it makes it makes them getting together in the help. movie. It doesn't help yeah. that it seems like at, in part one, Hinata's character actually did seem to go somewhere, right? But then by Shikunin, right. she progressed. Not only progressed, she got worse because she can't even think without talking to Naruto. Right, right, right. I agree. I agree. Like you she like like you she like was going to like go somewhere like in the first part and then comes to putin like kind of just falls off but you can say that about like the other care side characters too like you think like they like get their fucking moments you think they're gonna progress but then again really other than like shikamaru and like lee and guy like they nothing like it doesn't go anywhere and I said this to you earlier today, and I stand by it. Neji was right, and he died a slave. 
a slave. Nedry was Nedry was one hundred percent right and died a slave and basically died for nothing. Yep, he died they for a clone. He died for a clone. They should have fucking. They should have fucking had an arc where, and they did have an arc and nothing got resolved in it. But they should have had a fucking arc that should have been Neji and Hinata's moment, where they fucking resolved the feud between the main house and the sub house of the Hyuga clan. Ooh, you wanna know what I hate the most about Neji's death scene? Is that Hinata uses it as a moment to get closer to Naruto, not mourning her fucking cousin. Mind you, yeah. there's a moment to get closer to Naruto. Yeah, it's bad. It's so fucking bad. See, also, see, also sees a war, or the entire war as a way to get closer to Naruto. You, uh, I, I can't stand that. <laughs> but yeah, like, just like, like with Bleach and Naruto, like, side characters just get underutilized. And... And Jacob doesn't care for One Piece, but that's why I was saying, like, a big reason why I like One Piece, and I think you'll agree with me, is that all the characters in One Piece get utilized in one way or another. It's not just yeah. all Luffy. It's like everybody gets their moment. Yeah, there's always going to be a moment for Usopp, Robin, all the others. But I'm going to mute myself real quick because I'm going to use the bathroom. Jacob, did you fall asleep? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm just Sorry, trying to I get a crossbow. Were... Okay, I thought you were snoring for a bit. No, 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 no. no. I've been listening. Okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. He's here. He's here, chat. I just got a range far weapon. across these new frontiers. I was just trying to think of things to add, but I don't really have much to add. I would, uh, I would say that the only people who kind of get underutilized for the Straw Hats now is I feel like Chopper Robin. gets kind of underutilized. Robin's Chopper, a whole new transformation and shit. Chopper gets underutilized. I, th uh, no, I keep in mind and I also Frankie. have it like, and yeah, Frankie. Like I feel like those two get underutilized the most out of and out of them all. Sad for Chopper. Because I think he has the most uh, story potential out of the Straw Hats community when it comes to I his agree. government. Because there's something, there's clearly something more going on. I agree, but I I, I feel like he kind of just got pushed to the side a little bit, which is unfortunate. But like other than like him and Frankie, like everybody, everybody like has importance and gets their time to shine. And I feel like. You know, that's what makes... It's what makes One Piece stand out compared to Naruto and uh, Bleach, and especially, you know, writing-wise, is that the they are Nakama. You feel they are Nakama, and you feel that they're all important, whereas, like, with Naruto and Bleach, like... Only Naruto and Ichiko feel important, whereas everybody else feels like an afterthought. I, I said this to my friend, who was who just started watching Naruto. I don't believe in Naruto and Sasuke are friends, because they before the, they spend most of the part one arguing with each other, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even when you count the fillers, once you remember that those are non-canon, right? The relationship right. just went hollow. It does, and, and I agree. They like... had, they had to add extra scenes in the manga later with Naruto and Sas Sasuke apparently bonding for their relationship to make more sense, and it still doesn't work because we didn't see those beforehand. So it feels like they're just retconning it. Yeah. Right. And but, but like we're supposed to believe that like Naruto like is so close with Sasuke that like getting him back is like more than just like you know business like you can't have like somebody of sasuke stature falling into the wrong hands um but it's like they're this trying personal... to play them up as being brothers which right <laughs> but it doesn't work like it doesn't fucking work like like realistically at no point does sasuke really reciprocate the feelings even in part one exactly they, they, they... 
few moments where in the manga that I believe they cut out of the anime, right? Where he kind of, you, they kind of show that he cares, but nothing too great. We don't really see Naruto and saw, uh, the Team Seven hanging out that much, which I feel like the manga desperately needed. Just little moments of downtime between Team Seven and where they're just talking. Right, right. I agree. Um, and I, Jacob, I know you don't care for Ruby, but this is something I bring up with Ruby. With Ruby? Yeah, also an issue I, I have with Ruby, too. Um, because, like, me and Michael have, like, discussed that all the time, is that Juniper and Ruby are not friends. Yeah. Like, I, I, uh, that's why whenever I write fix for Ruby, I make sure to have it, have random, uh, moments of them just hanging out, right? It's like sometimes I have Nora hanging out with Yang or like Ren hanging out with Weiss for whatever reason, shit like that. And I think like it would have because like it's like it's like IRL, right? Like, you know, you like during high school or like middle school, like, you know, you go to lunch and you sit at the table and like you sit at a table because like your friends sitting at the table, right? And you have like a big group of people. But like just because like you all sit at the table doesn't make you all friends like you are yeah, there the because you are there because like your friend is there and like one of their friends is there but that doesn't make the mutual friend like your mutual friend with them like friends with you guys and that's the problem with ruby the only reason why ruby and juniper sit together is because ruby and john are friends and you could say that john has a crush on weiss that's fine that's whatever but it is primarily because ruby and john are friends and juniper sits with them because john is their leader and because you know pira does pira goes along with it because she likes john and nora and ren just go along with it because they go with the flow same thing with like fucking the rest of Ruby. They only do it because Ruby wants to do it. And then when you really break down the teams, like Ruby only does what Ruby does because Ruby is the leader. And they there is a point that out in nine, but I don't think they do a good job with it. They don't. And there's obviously a clash between Ruby and Weiss because Weiss wants to be the leader. And the only reason why, if you look at it realistically, if you look at it realistically, like the personalities of- Weiss is a terrible of, leader. Weiss is a terrible leader. But the personalities of Ruby's team is a bunch of like contrast because you have Ruby and Weiss butting heads and Yang would be the enforcer. Yang will do whatever Ruby wants because Ruby is her sister and Yang will enforce what Ruby wants because like she's going to do it because they're sisters. Meanwhile, Blake is completely indifferent to everything. And if they get try to get Blake to do anything, they got to twist Blake's arm to fucking do it. And it's a fucking mess. Whereas like the worst you could say about Juniper is that John is a little like yes. John is a little like, you know, like he's not very confident. He kind of like has trouble like, you know, putting himself out there. Hero will listen to him regardless, whereas the Hero's outlier is a follower. Is a, That's the problem. Hero is a follower, whereas with Nora and Ren like I don't think they dislike Ren. John. But at the same time, they don't necessarily respect John, if that makes sense. At least not at first. Also, at Rin's least... a follower as well. And Rin is 100% a follower as well. Like, Rin would be a horrible leader. And Nora is just an agent of I feel of like... Yeah. I feel like that if, if Nora was made a leader, she, she would have to have... A, she, could have she could potentially become a great leader if given time. If given I, time. I, if given time... She has the energy for it, but I feel like she doesn't have the, uh... She doesn't have, like, the organization that John has. Yeet. If that makes sense. I think for... I think for all of his flaws, I think John's very put together. 
And I think coming from such a, like, big family, like, forces somebody like him to, like, be organized and, like, be able to control, like, chaos. Since if, yeah. if you, if you believe the theories of, like, him being, like, the middle child, I think him dealing with younger siblings would force him to, like, have to, like, get some level of control over them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I do. And I think that's why he's so good at dealing with Nora. But I, I think, I think I agree with you that what they should have done is they, and this goes into the pacing being bad because you know, Ruby's, Ruby's all about go, go, go. Like there's no, there's no taking time for like anything to build. It's all about like going as fast as possible to get to the finish line. Is that they should have had them build bonds and have them hanging out outside of their teams and whether that's like in cold openings before like the episode begins or like in small like spin-offs or like intermission episodes i think that's what they should have done and it would have built the bond between both teams not just both teams but like inner teams as well where everybody built upon one another and had like a strong ties with everybody and it would have made scenes like Pyrrha dying more impactful because of how close she was with her team and not just yeah. not just because it affects John we does team Ruby even talk about Pyrrha dying I don't even remember no, like, the only buddy who, like, fucking, like, grieves about Pyrrha dying is John, and everybody else just kind of pretends, like, just doesn't acknowledge it, which really annoys the fuck out of me. Ruby was there to watch her die, and she says nothing about it. Exactly. And then people try to, like, people try to, like, use that against John's character to shit on him because apparently he's the only one allowed to grieve. Um, and I'm just like, that's not a problem with John's character. That's just a problem with poor writing. And then, like, some people try to say, like, oh, this is why Ruby's so much better than John, because, like, she he has to be the one to, like, bear the burden and, like, deal with it. And yeah, it's that's like, bullshit. Uh, that's, that's absolute bullshit. bullshit. That's cope. That is not literal fucking wrong. cope. <laughs> literal fucking pope it's not her dealing with it it's her like being unable to actually express any kind of grief or like properly dealing with that that is absolute fucking cope who is chris what's up chris hey chris uh, uh how you doing I hit myself in the nuts. Good job. Good job. How how'd you manage that one? So I was holding my phone watching the stream. Uh-huh. And I was about to drop my vape pen. So I kept telling myself, set down the phone, uh -huh. grab the vape pen. Instead, my hand threw it up in the air, grabbed the vape pen, and my phone hit me in the nuts. Bruh. Because <laughs> apparently, set down to high me means throw it up in the air and watch it land. Bruh. <laughs> not, not a good time. I'm watching Scary Movie 5. How, Why would how you does, do that to yourself? How does that feel, Chris? I want to know if it's better high. Are you well, high? He is high. He is very high. God damn it. I want to be high. I was going to go to sleep, but then I got high. 
Maybe you should try to say. No, um, I don't do drugs. That's not what I said. I said maybe you should go to sleep. I'm not going to sleep yet. I'm not sleepy. I'm in pain. Sure. You are indeed in anyway, pain. Anyway, I will be back. I'm going to leave for a few. You'll be what? I'm going to be back. I'm going to leave for a few. Okay. Be back. Okay. But, um... Yeah. I yeah. I blanked out during the Ruby talk. I know you did, because you don't like Ruby. <laughs> yeah. I am enjoying this game. He is enjoying this game, chat. It is a very good game. Chris, you would hate this game. What? You would hate this game. Hate what game? Final Fantasy XI. Oh. Oh, okay. Or at least I think you would. It looks boring. It's not boring. Yeah, it looks boring. It's the perfect game to sit down and talk to people with. Is there fast travel? Kind of. Not really. It's boring. Jesus. To be to be fair to what Chris is saying, it it is a lot of walking around, Jacon. I know, but I like that. Things are like miles away. Yeah. That's so, a little boring, Jacon. <laughs> I'm into it. I know you are. It's so relaxing. I know I'm high right now, but this sounds really weird out of context. Why? I'm into it. I know you are, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take it that way, Chris. I'm high. Have you tried being low? Is that even possible? Anything is possible with the power of magic. Magic's not real. Fuck you, then. Suffer. That's not. If you, if you want... Huh? What? What'd you say? I am unstoppable. Fear me. What'd you say? I didn't really say anything. I'm looking for a place to buy pickaxes pick from. Why not make one? Because I don't have blacksmithing yet. I don't know a weird game idea that popped into my head. What? What's that? So, it's single player. Uh-huh. However, every time you die, you come back as a new character, and the time gets reset. Uh, that kind of exists. However, your other character you played previously is still playing up to the point of his death while you play. That could be interesting. So eventually, you just flush out the entire world of all these people trying to do stuff. Huh. That is interesting. As an idea. It's a high idea. A high idea, if you may. <laughs> <laughs> idea. Uh, you are high, Jesus Christ. Leave me alone. Today was rough. 
Every day is rough for you. Every day is rough for you. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm pain prone. I still have bruises from the haunted hayride, and now they're also matching with the uh, bruises I got from moving. Moving? Yeah, my friend's stuff. Oh, okay. I thought I you had finally gotten dresser. out of your house. No. Rip. I wish. You wish you were dead? No? You said did I miss I... something? Yes, you did. What I miss? You missed everything. How did I miss but is everything? It safe? But is what safe? Is it safe? Is what safe? Is it safe? Jake, you gotta tell me what what needs it's to be It's a reference safe. to clerks. Why are we talking about clerks? Because I love clerks. My friend lent me the TV show. The animated series? Yeah. It's really good. Shame Full it got collection. canceled after six episodes. Should have been continued, especially nowadays. I'm very surprised it hasn't been, but it was kind of of its time. Uh, it's still relevant, though. I know it is. I keep telling my friends that also get high to watch it. Nothing oh, no, I never... Nervous. I never saw the original, but I watched a little bit of the Clerks, too, and I didn't really care for it. I'm a fan of it because I'm into shitty indie films. The movies are a lot better when you're high. I just felt like the humor was just kind of... It's Kevin Smithian you know. humor. Why does Silent Bob not talk? That's the joke. Because that's the joke. But was that ever addressed or no? That's the joke. It's the joke. But I will say, like, of... I feel... What Kevin Smith movies have I seen? I think the only Kevin Smith movie that I've seen the entirety of and still really like to this day is Dogma. Dogma is amazing. I really, 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 really like Dogma. Kind of messed up He-Man. He very um, much so messed up He-Man. He very much messed up He-Man. I will say, though, uh, I know you said his movies are better high, Chris, but I made the mistake of watching when i first watched dogma i had actually gotten high with a buddy of mine and um watched it it didn't help that i he had his volume down turned kind of low so i didn't really hear anything so i didn't really like have a chance to appreciate the movie and then i watched it again um sober and i really liked it no clerks <laughs> is a lot better oh But no, I I like I like the humor of Dogma because it's it's very dry humor, but I really like the themes of Dogma. I just think it's a very interesting movie. Uh, I feel like I should uh, cosplay their superhero, Chronic Man. Chronic Man. The only question is, do I need to be high when I am Chronic Man? I also really like the scene where Silent Bob fucking tosses the angels out of the subway <laughs> mm. and fucking he calls him schooler bob <laughs> call him student bob it <laughs> doesn't even mean silent and then bob quotes the no ticket line from fucking the third indiana jones movie <laughs> that's one of my favorite scenes i kind of want a clerks three they're making one they're making one. Oh it's my gonna, god. It's probably oh gonna suck. God. Because Wanted Kevin Smith. Is, DVD. Kevin Smith is literally the world's biggest fucking sellout in Hollywood. All because he got a TV show. Okay, I finally have things I need to make money. So I'm going to go make money. You're just gonna fish, aren't you? That is a possibility. I need to look how fishing... 
works in this game. Imagine you have to kill the fish. Uh, not likely. I always hated that in one of the games that I played before. Mm -hmm. When you go fishing, you have to fight the fish. I wish I could remember what game that was, though. Why'd you buy five pickaxes? Uh, because I need... they break. Ah. Uh... Let's see. Hold on. I need to... Oh, you have a compass. Yeah, I have a compass. I've been uh... staring at it for at least two minutes. Fish, you are very high. Where'd okay. Joey go? I don't know. He vanished. When did he leave? I'm not sure. Sorry, I was pulling some stuff out of my dryer. It's all good. We're about to go fishing. Oh, and I'm making... I'm making the Pathfinder character that talks like Goblin Slayer. You got mad at me for telling you how he talks in Japanese. Because I don't want the Japanese words, I want his attitude in words. But he's more iconic in the subtitles. Talking about the short answers. Yes, he says Soka in um, Japanese. Oh. For some reason, he says yes a lot. He also says I see. I haven't heard him say I see as much as he says he yes. He says it in Japanese. My foot itches. Then itch it. I can't. Why not? Because it's on the floor. My hand isn't. Mm. I have fishing bait. That's a... Oh, wait. Time gap. Okay. Oh. Okay, where to? I need to find a crystal. Okay, that was one over there. Does what say? Uh, Synergy Veteran. Can I have it? Carpenter Stall. Mm. The fuck does that mean? See, there it is again. Mm 
Fish. Hold up, I fucked up. The long ass rod. Yeah. Oh, I see where you fucked up. Caught a sardine. Oh, spoiler. Oh, shut up. <coughs> huh? A bastard sardine. Alrighty. Now we make money. Someone random from Horizon 11 messaged me, and I don't really want to confirm their message. And add them as a DM person. Hmm. What? I don't know how to talk right now. Oh, yeah, you're on stuff, too. Yeah. Fuck up, squad. Yeah. Well, a spider. I had to kill a spider, so I got really fucked up. Uh... All right. Let's, let's end the stream with a little bit of fishing. How's that sound? <clears throat> oh, shit. The fish are scared. Dark. Uh Let's all laugh at an industry that never learns anything, tee hee hee. Hee hee. Disney? That too. That too. Alright, caught another fish. We're gonna keep fishing until I'm f until I'm satisfied. Or until I can't see straight anymore. Whatever comes first. I did it, I got something that I was not sure I could catch. I could probably amp up, I could probably join the cookie guild and uh, raise my cooking level as well. You know what I mean? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking to Joey. He's not here. I could have sworn I Quiet. heard him. There oh. he is. You there? I'm here. Oh, sorry. I knew I heard him and it wasn't my high self. My brain what? broke. Cool. I wanna see. Hmm. Might as well keep fishing a little bit.
Anyone watch anything good lately? Goblin anything Slayer. Good. Um. Not really. Other than the movies we we watched for movie night. Mm. I want to get back to that. I'm just not sure how to. Uh, we just gotta set some time aside and watch a movie. Yeah. I just, I'm not really into Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, but I want to humor um, Michael because he's put up with all our requests. He has. I don't know. I I don't want to really want to watch it either. Oh, we can put in requests? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, clowns, killer clowns from outer space. That would be a good one. That would be a good one. I would also like to watch Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Dude, I just watch Attack of the Killer Donuts. Tomatoes is more classic, though. Yes, but Donuts was hilarious. Mm. Especially since if you take a bite out of one, you mutate. Mm. <laughs> No, no, I'm really into camping or uh, horror, campy horror movies. My line broke. God damn it, I hit the X button too soon. Don't need to hit the X button at all. Okay, I'm done catching fish because I can't catch more than 20. Or 10, I can only catch 10 per day. But one of them wasn't a fish. I know, but unfortunately, I have to play by their rules. Anarchy. Well, once my account is older, they'll allow me to do more shit. And once I get higher leveled as well. <clears throat> oh shit, pencil. Huh? My pen is still on. Oh shit, turn that shit off. 15 bucks, little man. Put that shit in my hand. Where's that from? James and Silent Bob Strike Back. That's where I heard it. Just got an alert. What's the alert for? Discord. Ah, fun. Oh, they get banned. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go shape shit. Oh no. Brutal. They might even get kicked out of the store. Hmm. What'd they do? Posted a nude photo of their girlfriend on the store's general Discord. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's fucked. It, it's, it's an E for everyone Discord, because we have a few minors. Can you get fined for that shit? Probably. Either way, he's fucked. Why? We have a lot of dads of uh, underage children on Discord. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ben himself has a 12 year old little girl. Hmm. And this, this 21 year old just posted a photo of his naked girlfriend to prove that he has a girlfriend. <laughs> he's fucked. 
As he considered not being a piece of shit. He's one of the people that doesn't understand social cues. Mm. He's gonna learn. <coughs> he gonna learn one way or the other. Oh, he's gone. Rip. Rip! Good riddance. I was gonna say, that took longer than I thought it would for him to get banned. Why didn't you do it? Oh shit, you're right. Cause you're high. No one show this to any of my friends that go to that Discord. Okay. I probably should have done that, but then again, I'm not employed by him anymore. Yeah. Bastock rank 2. Don't Let's laugh. all laugh at an industry that never learns anything. To he he he. Okay, more missions. Oh yeah, I figured out what I'm gonna do for um, my job, my main job. Uh, Runtjelfish is going to be a uh, ranger, so he's gonna okay. use guns and daggers. He's gonna be a fast. He's gonna be a speedy boy. And if I get bored of that, I can change to whatever class I want. I must have to get to level 30 and unlock the classes first. What happened? Huh? I heard something come through on your mic and then you went... Oh. I'm just very sleepy. Maybe you should stop and go to bed. Not yet. Maybe I should stop and go to bed. Maybe you should both stop and go to bed. Maybe all three of us should stop and go to bed. I'm not tired. And... <laughs> it's like only 4.05 where I'm at. Yeah, Joey has different time. Ooh. No, oh, that reminded me of what I said earlier in this stream. What? Joey, did you hear about it? I heard about what? Carrie Underwood. What about Carrie Underwood? She canceled her concert because she didn't like getting booed. Interesting. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the farm. Okay, I have a gun now. It's baller. Baller. Balling. Balling. I am ballered. I am balling. <laughs> I'm fat balling. I am I balding. Am faded. I am balling. Balding, I am malding, I am run jellyfish. Oh. I finally heard Green Day for the first time in so many years on the radio. Jesus, for real? Huh. I cranked it the fuck up. It was also the American idiot one. Don't wanna be an American idiot. <laughs> 
Is that an actual person speaking in Japanese? Huh? Is that an actual person speaking in Japanese? Who? On your little chat thing. Oh, yes. It's a Japanese MMO. Why are you so surprised? You have seen other people speaking in English. Yeah? Well, Bahamas is the, the most... First... This is the most was... populated server. Oh. That, it doesn't suck. He's got a hat. I don't. Oh, the other guy does. Oh. Hold the end. I'm starting to slow down, gents. You should probably Go call it to quits bed. In. I have to see if Chris will be fine with me going to bed. We at least have to stay up until she gets home. I can always just talk to you about high stuff. Your threat isn't working. That wasn't a threat, that was an offer. water wet no idea really has science explained this it is because to be wet you must be wet no like why is water wet because it is liquid but how how does it have the ability to be wet um science Also, I saw that there was another study by scientists who see if we can taste from our butt. Interesting. I question why they have to keep testing this theory. That should be a study. Why do why are scientists obsessed with tasting with their butts? Um I don't know. That could be an interesting study. I think we scared away Joey. Still here. He's still here. He's trying to make uh, sure I'm okay. I should probably call it quits. You probably should. Alright guys, we'll continue tomorrow. Um, have a great night. This has been us. Joey, Chris, anything you want to plug? Boom, boom. No. No. Okay. Well, that's it then. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs>